Hi guys, give us a shout. Let us know that you're here, ready and waiting. Well, we're here, ready and waiting. Let us know that you're sat there, ready and waiting. So if you give out a few uh, shout outs, John's going to tell us who's here. Got anybody here yet, John? We have. We've got nine people, 12. Okay, then do you want to shout out some names, John? 21. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I think John's got all time. We've got I'm waiting. We've got, 12, we've, got uh, we've got Kat Riley, Lindsay McIver, Lynn Lawton, Zoe Corker. They're all saying hello. Shout them out, John. Robert Allen's just joined us. Hi, guys. Sarah Williams. Hi. So they're all our regulars, anyhow. So they're yeah. first on the button. That's what I like about that yeah. team. They're first on the button at 8 o'clock, so they know to have a wee, sit down in the chair, be ready. Waiting for us. Well, we're up to 69. Fantastic. Well, that's what we already. Want. Yep. That's what we want. So let's introduce who's in the kitchen tonight then. So we've got Jen Lewis. Correct. Hello. 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 Um, from the Dr. Oka, what team is it? Product it's development. Product, product development. development team. Yeah. Hi. I, I forgot the development word. I knew it was product something. And Rachel, her lovely assistant, who's come to join us today. So I haven't got much to do in the kitchen. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to watch. So they're going to make this amazing cake. So John, do you want to show them what cake that they're going to make? They made this today. Absolutely lovely. And they're going to use all Dr. Oka's uh, products, plus sugar and crumbs, strawberry milkshake. Chocolate so milkshake. chocolate milkshake. Yeah, that's good. Just testing them, make sure they're listening. So give us a thumbs up, guys. What do you think? So they're going to... I know there's a delay. So we're using a chocolate milkshake on the outer of the cake for the buttercream. This, these are made with chocolate as well, these Christmas trees. Do you want to zoom in, John, and have a look? Oh, all the loves and likes are coming now. So these are all chocolate, and then these are real fruits, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yep, they yeah. are. Yep. Do you want to tell us what else, Jen? Do you want to come around yeah, here and sure. tell us? So we're going to show you how to do the uh, to buttercream the cake and get nice, neat edges. We're going to show you how to do the drip effect. Um, these are actually modelling chocolate trees, you can cut any shape you like. Uh, we're going to do chocolate shards and then we're going to shimmer up some fruit uh, to give it a bit of a festive finish. I think it looks fantastic just spraying up the fruit, that's yeah, a nice look, idea. Yeah, if you do some with, some without, it yeah. really stands out, doesn't I it? I would never have thought of actually sort of spraying the fruit at all, so I really am impressed with that, so good. And we're going to have great fun in the kitchen because my audience knows that I always muck up the chocolate. Oh, nice. So, Jen, I'm going to be leaving it to you <laughs> yeah, tonight. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the chocolate. <laughs> and if I muck it up, it's my fault. Because they're all fully aware. So, guys, are you looking forward to seeing this being made then, yeah? Mm hmm Great. Well, we're up to 140 people so Perfect. far. Perfect. Wow. That's what we like then. Right, so before we carry on, let's just talk about a few things about what we've got for sale. So, John, do you want to just have a little walk over here? And then before I leave you to the girls, so just a few things. And um, the cake that we're doing tonight that Jen and Rachel are doing, we've actually put together a bundle. So there's a whole bundle. So if you buy, you can buy all these items separately, but if you decide to buy them as a whole set, you get two bags of chocolate milkshake um, free. So we're giving those away with this whole bundle. The link is on the website, so that's a great deal there. These come in packs of six, these. And you've got your liquid glucose, but everything here is what's used for tonight. Okay. Then I've also got some new moulds in by Kerry Griffiths. You all know Kerry. Got these fabulous new moulds in from the Creative Cake System. So take a look at those. If you go into the actual product itself, I've actually put the link to the video on how to use them. Nicholas Lodge, anybody who follows him, this is his Christmas moulds, and these are fabulous. They're fantastic. Made by Katie Sue in um, conjunction with Nicholas Lodge. And then I brought in this little palette knife. Really handy. Really, really handy. So he's on the website. It's only tiny, but really good for just getting in those little nips and corners, so especially when you're picking up your flowers after your nifty nozzles, if you've done one wrong. New set of brushes that are in and the palette knife for all of those of you who use, use your dust, okay? And then you may see over here, I've got the sponge, fun, uh, sponge cupcakes in. I'm going to be using these tonight because I've got two um, nozzles that somebody's asked me to demonstrate. So sometime when Jen and Rachel get a slow minute, I'll do a Christmas tree and um, we've got the new nozzle 2-2. Two -two. So I'll pop that, I'll show you how to use that as well, okay? So we'll come back to that. So if you want to go back on round there, John, and we'll get Jen and Rachel here, where they're starting. 
So they're quite nervous. <laughs> you're not supposed to say that. You're not supposed to say that. We're fine. So we're, we're, up, we're up to three and a half thousand watching now. <laughs> <laughs> now she's nervous. <laughs> so we're going to start off with Rachel. There's lots of things that's going on. Rachel's going to first of all show you how to make the chocolate cake using their products, and then Jen is going to do all the fantastic adult bits, aren't you? I am, yes. So I'm going to leave you two girls to it. I'm going to be looking at the phone, and I'll answer all your comments for you as well, between John and I. So uh, if we can keep it all about what you're asking about tonight, that would be great. Any more hellos we need to be shouting out to, John? Yeah, there's lots of people. That's what I like about John. Really important. Sorry, Guys, lots of people. Sorry, Guys, lots of people. people. You're, you're asking me to do more than one, one thing at a time. We've got Joan Archives, Sherilyn Degg, Charlotte Degg, Joe Slatley, Jacqueline Heaton. Hi, guys. Lynn Feather, Sarah Williams, <laughs> Samantha Copeland. <laughs> Super. Sorry if I missed anyone. <laughs> right, no worries. But anyway, we're glad you're joining us here again on Monday, which is brilliant. So, and by the way, if we lose connection tonight, because we've seen to have lost connection three times now, yeah, yeah, we lost it once each week. If we lose connection tonight, don't worry. Just give us a couple of minutes and refresh your page and we'll be back, okay? So, I'm handing it over to you, Rachel. So, do you understand what you're doing? Thank you, Carol. Okay, so we're going to start with the, uh, the cake mix. So, I'm going to show you how to make this cake mix, which is a really easy method. So, it's the all in one method. Um, what you do need to know is a very liquid batter. Um, so, we've prepared the cake tins here. You need four seven inch cake tins. So, they're grease and lined ready for us. 100 miles an hour. <laughs> I'll slow down. <laughs> we've preheated the oven. So that's set at 160 degrees, that's in a fan oven, or 180 degrees. So you need to preheat your oven, prepare your cake tins, and if you get all your ingredients out, and then it'll make the process a lot more enjoyable, and it's really quick and easy to make. So I'll start by adding the ingredients. So we've got plain flour for this recipe. So 335 grams of plain flour. So just tip that into the bowl. Then we've got our light brown sugar, 525 grams, tip that in. Like I said, all dry ingredients first. Then we've got our cocoa powder, so this is Dr. Oetker's fine dark cocoa powder. Just show you the tub there. Um, so hopefully you can see it's a nice dark rich colour, so this gives a really rich colour to your cake, as well as delivering a really rich flavour. So we'll add that into the mixing bowl. There we go, and then we'll add our raisin agents. So for this recipe, you've got two sachets of baking powder. So these are pre-weighed sachets. So in one sachet is one teaspoon. So it's really easy just to tip those in. And the recipe's on the website, website isn't it? Okay. Yeah. yeah, all the quantities can be found there. I do like the sachet idea, really. it does make life a lot easier. Really easy, easy so mm. you don't have to worry about getting your measuring spoon out if you don't have one. And I missed you, are you using plain flour or something? So we're using plus? plain flour, yeah. two sachets or two teaspoons of baking powder and then two teaspoons of the bicarbonate of soda. So there are raisin agents going in there. And like I said at the beginning, it's quite a liquid mix, so the rise comes from the raisin agents rather than the creamy method. Just going to put that under the mixer now, make sure that's locked in. Just put that down, we'll just give that a gentle tumble just to mix those dry ingredients. So whilst the beef is down I can add the liquid ingredients. <coughs> so this is vegetable oil, so it's not butter or margarine in this recipe, it's vegetable oil. So we'll just tip that in. Then we've got three medium eggs. So no need to mix them first, they can just go straight in. It's a really easy method to... I like it when it's all in one. Mm. Yeah. All in one. Yeah. Close up, John. A million miles away over there. So it's not all those separate steps. <laughs> You'll be out the back door if you carry on. I'm trying to get everything in. You don't need to get everything in, we want to see the mix. <laughs> can you see what's in the bowl there? What it's I can really. like? So then we've got 375 mils of whole milk. That in at this stage. And then we've just got 
some instant coffee granules. So this is just two teaspoons of coffee. This just helps bring out the flavour of the chocolate cake. And you don't need to worry about dissolving it first. You'll see. And then finally, the two, two teaspoons sorry, of vanilla extract. So. And guys, the recipe's on the website already. Maria put it up earlier. And this is going to make four layers, isn't it? So four layers, yeah. It's a big cake. Yeah. Okay, so you can see what it looks like in the bowl. So you've added all your ingredients that are listed on the recipe, apart from the boiling water, which we will add shortly. Okay. I like it, you two in the kitchen. Look how clean this is. Yeah, it's really good. Like, You're doing a good job, Jen. I'm telling you, it's so good. I'm only here for the washing up. <laughs> we like to clean as we go. Okay, so this We've is never had it this clean. <laughs> so this is the fun bit. We'll start mixing. So hopefully, it won't make a complete mess of the kitchen. I'm just going to set it off gently. This is where it could go horribly wrong. This is where wrong. it could get messed up. Yeah, I have to. And I'm just going to gently. Start that going, you can see it's quite unpredictable. Get in there, so just set it on the lowest speed to start with, just until they combine. And how long do you mix the cake next for? So, just until all the ingredients are combined. So, you want to mix these until you can see that it's all combined. And what I will do is just scrape down the bowl just to ensure that there's no of the dry ingredients left at the bottom of the bowl. We've got a few people just joining us and asking what are we making, is it worth coming back yeah. and just having yeah. a, yeah. a brief description of what, we've, yeah. Yeah, what sure. we're doing? So it's the um, chocolate shard cake, Roger. so it's a four layer chocolate cake which Rachel's just making now. Um, then we'll show you how to apply the buttercream, so we're using the chocolate milkshake um, icing sugar. And then we've got some modelling chocolate, well we've done Christmas trees but you could do whichever shape you like. Chocolate shards on the top and then we'll show you how to do the chocolate drip effect. And not forgetting the big shimmer finish um, with some shimmered uh, fruit. So hopefully it'll look something like that at the end of the night. That's our plan. <laughs> if not, you've got a lovely picture there of what it should look like. No one will ever know if it doesn't. Exactly, we just showed them that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll do a quick swap. Yeah. Yeah. It's always funny, isn't it, when you make one before, it always turns out great, and then on the night it's yeah, like... It's actually going to look like it, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Okay, so let's just have a look at this cake mix. We'll just lift it up. Oh, John, your mum's joined us. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Mum. <laughs> hi, Mum. He never says hi. <laughs> well done. She's doing well. She's here by quarter past eight. Yeah, well done, Dorothy. <laughs> so just scrape that down to make too much of a mess. Just saying to Lindsay Pearson, I've not forgot my demo, Lindsay. It'll be on sometime tonight. Scrape down just to make sure there's no flour or any of the dry ingredients left. Thank you, Jen. Yeah, See, see look at that. Oh, yes. Great. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> I've got a lot of cleaning to do tomorrow. I tell you, I'm well impressed. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got 375ml um, of boiling water to add, so you can see it's quite liquid at this stage, and then we're adding more liquid. We have got a lot of dry ingredients in there, so we need to add more liquid just to get the right consistency for these chocolate cakes. So again, on the slow setting, I've got the That's quite interesting. That's quite interesting that you're adding liquid to it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's quite unusual, so this is more what we call like an American-style recipe, so using the oil quite quite a liquid recipe rather than like a typical creaming method where you cream the sugar and the fat together. So I'm just going to add this slowly because you'll see it's quite liquid. So just bear with as well to gradually add this water. I was going to say to Lindsay, you're not being a pest Lindsay, I said I would do it weeks ago for you, I just forgot. <laughs> you keep asking me to do the Christmas tree nozzle and I keep forgetting. It's coming tonight. It's going to come out tonight. Yeah, it does seem quite a lot of water to add. Elaine Lawton says, Rachel, you can come over to her house any time and keep her kitchen clean. You're doing a good job. <laughs> I was going to say, it's Elaine, it wasn't Rachel, it's Jen, who's running around with the cloth. <laughs> and you've not seen me try to get the chocolate out of the bowl. We'll so, see uh, Rachel work afterwards. We'll see, yeah. <laughs> 
So we're using, so we just boiled this before we went live, um, so the boiling water just helps dissolve that coffee that you've added in the cocoa powder. Yeah. But don't worry if you can still see some specks when we put it in the tin. We'll, um... Any guys who are just joining us, you can catch us up later, so it will be on the page. Alison, you can go back to the page later to catch up, or it'll be on YouTube after 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. The question is that of the boil the water being cooled, but no, it's still more so yeah, hot. Yeah, literally it? just boiled before it yeah, went live, hot. so yeah. it's still hot. Yeah. 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 Hopefully you can see the consistency there. It might be quite different to the usual chocolate yeah, cake that you made. I've never seen a cake that loose before. It's quite, it's quite different, which is why we wanted to making it up, you know, we are going to put these in the oven, the oven is all meant to bake the cake, but we've got some that we've prepared earlier, yeah. just to help assemble them and show you the finished article, but I think it's important to see this, because for some bakers it might frighten you, to see the liquid batter and think it's supposed to look like this, so... Well, I was going to say, I can't have really stopped putting water in now, I think it's too lazy, yeah. So no, follow the recipe, and um, you'll see it. it gives a really moist cake. Yeah. So, um, Which is good as well because chocolate cake can be dry as well. Can be dry. We've had a lot of cocoa powder in there. We've had 175 grams of cocoa yeah. powder. So it's important that you have the right amount of liquid to balance the recipe. So jelly scones, mm -hmm. I don't, it's not going to taste like a coffee cake, no, it's cocoa no, powder. The <laughs> coffee extract of cocoa, so the instant coffee that you've added, just helps bring out the, the flavour of the chocolate like yeah. vanilla would help. Why have you got a bit of coffee in there? Yes, it's two yeah. teaspoons of instant coffee. We did see that. I didn't forget it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see that bit. I wonder what she was talking about. Sorry, Jenny. Missed that bit. We're nearly there with the water. Yeah, if you are going to say a lot of wet ingredients. Yeah, yeah. it's quite it's quite unusual. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Jacqueline. Yes, it does bring out the taste of the chocolate. I never knew that. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you, you won't get a coffee taste. Yeah. yeah. So just keep that jug to hand, um, because I'm going to use that jug to help uh, pour the batter into the prepared thing. You measure it out, it's a very good thing. I'll just do it by eye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how equal the look and the look out of the oven in, the, in half an hour. Somebody says, can you use fresh coffee and less water? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you can. Yeah, you've got the same amount of liquid. Yeah, you need to Yes, Lynn, you can. That was Lynn Feather asking that one. Heather Mill says, well, there you go. If you learn something new every day. Thank you, Helen. I never knew it either. Okay, so I'm just going to stop the mixer at this point. And we can take a look inside. Okay, so we've got our chocolate cake in there. So I'm going to take a look at the recipe. You see, I'd have been worried that I'd messed that recipe up. Very different yeah. from what a lot of people yeah. will be used to making. Yeah. Oh, look at you two girls in the kitchen. I'll get you back here again. <laughs> Even if it's just cleaning up after everyone else, it's great. <laughs> so hopefully you can see in the bowl now, it is very liquid. So this is what I said at the start. You know, we'd recommend not to use loose bottom tins for this recipe just because it is so liquid. But that is what it should look like. So if you get to that stage, you're doing well. I'll just move that mm. spatula to the side. Sorry, Charlotte, we don't sell food mixers. Mm -hmm. But I can recommend the Andrew James's. We demoed theirs a few weeks ago. Drop onto their website. And uh, we really like theirs. They're very, very reasonable. I know, it's back to the cake. Should we move that ball out the way so they can see? Come around here, John. Around there. Yeah. Move that mixer. Okay. Doing well, John. Okay. So here are our prepared tins. So like I said at the beginning, with baking, if you can prepare everything in advance, then um, when you start baking, you know things ready. So at this stage, you don't have to think, oh, I need to prepare the tins. You've already done that. So then we're just going to pour. You can see how liquid it is. So about half to three quarters full. So I take it you make all the cakes in your place, then, dear? Not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> So somebody says, can you use anything other than coffee? You 
could leave the coffee out if you really didn't want to add it. Yeah. Um, but you know, any but you wouldn't flavorings, love any any else else festive flavorings, you could use if you if you really wanted to. Somebody says, if you don't have four separate tins, so this is Kirsty. If you don't have four separate tins, can you leave the mix aside to bake separate? I.e., so can you bake, say, two cakes? Yeah, we'd, we'd always say that it's best not to leave mix on the side because you've added the liquid and the raisin agents, they would start working in the mixing bowl. Right. Um, so it might be better to do it in two, two tins ah. and then split the tins. It'd be good then to... Um, to do half the recipe, mix half so the then, recipe first. That would be the other option, yeah, Carol, yes. That's just, it. So you wouldn't want those raisin agents right. to become less effective in the bowl. Yeah. So Kirsty, if you mm. didn't have four tins, then do half the recipe first, bake that, and then do the recipe again. Half. Might be a little on the light side, but roughly, I mean, we're doing this live, obviously, now. If you wanted to be super precise, you could get your scales and weigh, weigh each tin yeah. so you knew that they were exactly the same, so it'd be yeah. approximately 500 grams of batter. Yeah. And do you scrape everything out of the bowl? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to get this last there bit, you know. just for that last Trying bit. to scrape it. Jen's ready with it. Look. It's nice and simple, Jen. Jen. Love it, girls. <laughs> You're doing a good job. <laughs> yeah. Is Jen your boss as well? She is, yeah. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Having the boss working for you, isn't it? <laughs> well done, Jen. <laughs> I, I want the same. <laughs> you feel the same? <laughs> <laughs> Does the coffee trick work in all chocolate cake batter? I should think it would do, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, you could add it to oh. it all. Okay, so you've got those. So they're ready to go in your preheated oven now. So it's 30 minutes at 160 degree fan. Um, and then just test that the cakes are baked by, you know, insert the cocktail stick in the centre. And when that comes out clean, you know they're ready to go. So you can yeah. see as I'm lifting them how liquid they are. Yeah. So that is completely normal and it will be fine. Carol, are you able to get Oh yes, that's a good idea. Right guys, I know you're all talking about the mixers, but can we keep to the um, cakes and I'll give you a link for the Andrew James afterwards. So just, to, just for other people who are watching, because uh, loads of the comments are coming up about a conversation about all the different types of food mixers, but if we can get back to the chocolate cake, I'd appreciate it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking good then, okay. Rachel. So you can fit four of the tins in. I'll just close that Super. door now. What, what was the size of the tins? <laughs> Seven inch. Seven inch. Yeah. Seven inch tins. So we've got our oven preheated here, and I'm just going to bob the timer on so we don't forget about those. Hmm. Set that at 30 minutes, and we get to the oven. Uh, and then we'll leave those, and then we can come back to those later Perfect. on. Okay, yeah. so that's the cakes done. So all in one method, really simple. Have you worked out the timer as well? I'll show you later. Oh, you <laughs> I was thinking that's never been used before. Have you used the timer? Watch it as well. <laughs> those of us who've been there like four years have tried uh, to use the timer. Twenty twenty-four. So we'll I wouldn't rely on that timer. Oh no! It's counting down. It's counting down. It's fine. Is it? All right. Half an hour, yeah. Yeah, half an hour. So we'll leave those to bake, um, and that's the sponges done. So really simple, really easy method. We've got any more questions on that? And is that the temperature for and time for a fan oven? That's fan oven, yes. So 160 degree fan oven or 180. If you don't have a fan oven. All those uh, the temperatures and times are on the recipe on the website as well. So it's important just to leave those, don't be tempted to open the oven door because the raisin agents are working now, so leave them be. Oh, I'm excited. 30 minutes. Oh, I, I'm really excited. Yeah, I, I, I am excited because <laughs> I'm a pain, I open the door. Oh, I, oh, get, oh, I, I don't open the door. I go 20 minutes, right, have a look. No, don't touch. <laughs> That's because I don't use the timer. Right, Jen, so it's on to you, what are you going to do? I'm not going to clean up now. No, Rachel. I'm going to clean up. Where's the clock? I am going to start by doing the chocolate shard. So just to have a quick look at the cake again, I'm going to show you how to make the chocolate shards. So for this cake, we're going to use dark chocolate, which is a 54% cocoa solid. So Dr. Oka Fine cooks for our dark and the white chocolate for the white. Um, so you can use whichever way around you want. If you want to use more white, less dark, then 
you can do that. So we're going to start by melting the chocolate. So rather than get your hands covered in it, we'll break it up while it's in the packet. And I'm using a whole bar for this and half a bar of white. But as I say, if you wanted to switch it, you could do a whole bar of white and part dark if you want to. So once they're all broken up, I'm then going to put them in a bowl. So I'm using a plastic bowl. You could use a glass bowl, but actually we're going to use a microwave. You could do your bain-marie on the hob if you wanted to. Um, but it's going to be quicker doing it in the microwave. And actually it's important with chocolate not to get any moisture in it. And sometimes in a bain-marie the steam can come up over the top and it'll actually start seasoning your chocolate. So we're going to do it in the microwave. And we're going to gently warm it and melt it. Do you um, think that's where I could go wrong? Because everybody who's brought chocolate here, I've managed to burn it for them. You've got to be really careful with chocolate to do it gently. So if you're going to use the microwave, use half strength, half power. Yeah. Um, and just do it little bursts at a time. Don't put it on for a couple of minutes because you will burn it. It will burn or spot burn quite easily. Well, there you um, go. That's so going to warm it and <laughs> gently. And also, if you do it in a glass bowl, the bowl itself will be hot and that will add more heat to it. So, a plastic bowl is a bit better. And a spatula, that's all we need. Hey, okay. you need to remember how to use a microwave. Rachel will help you. Yeah, <laughs> she's figured out. Top tips here, guys. So, melt it in a plastic bowl, half heat of your microwave. Yeah, not like me, in a glass bowl, full heat, several minutes. <laughs> slowly, slowly. <laughs> until you, until you hear the explosion. Yeah, <laughs> what's that smell? I ruined Dawn Butler's um, chocolate uh, when she was on for the cake frame, and Louise Brimlow was on, and I ruined her chocolate oh, no. for her drip cake. And I did it to somebody Jacqueline. else's. If you, who? Jacqueline. Jacqueline, yeah, Jacqueline, uh, Jacqueline Eaton's, I ruined hers. Oh, no. So I've been banned from it. We'll do the chocolate, you're all right. <laughs> Stay away from the microwave. Yeah. So that's just on for 30 seconds. Um, just have a look. And even after 30 seconds, you can hear it rattling. Sorry, we'll do it. Audio. <laughs> you can hear it rattling. So you can just see some of them are starting to slightly melt. But we'll just do it uh, another 30 second burst. And then we'll probably do 10 or 20 seconds after that. We'll just do it gradually. Because actually, once they start melting, the heat of the chocolate itself will start melting the solid lumps of chocolate in there. Question here, is your cocoa dairy free or does it have cocoa butter in it? Um, our cocoa powder, um, there will be traces of cocoa butter, but that's not a dairy product, so um, no. there are no dairy products in there. Yeah, they are, Sarah. No that dairy is. products in there. Uh, Lindsay Pearson, is this tempering chocolate or just normal melting? Which this is isn't no. tempering, no, no just normal, normal melting. Normal melting. If you yeah. wanted to get um, so just that's another 30 seconds, give or take. So you can see it's starting to go now on some of them. So we'll, we'll just keep mixing it. Um, and actually, the beauty of using a plastic spatula is you can put the whole thing And actually not having a turntable, <laughs> you can put the whole thing in. And um, we will get in again. Hey, it's a little ever trick, you, Jen. I like it. Is this why you're the boss? How to melt chocolate with a plastic spatula, that's, that's why. Um, if you wanted to temper chocolate, you could, uh, and you get a much better shine on these shards. We haven't, we've just done it nice and easy and we're just going to melt it. Uh, but yeah, tempering is where you're adding your solid chocolate back in and um, you're controlling the, the factor seals basically. So that's, I've just done it for another 10 or 20 seconds I think. So that's pretty much on its way now. We'll just keep mixing up the warm chocolate in with the chocolate lumps and that will almost start melting itself so we'll do that now in 10 second bursts. Do you, do you know what I'm so pleased to watch this Jen because I have to tell you I have definitely mucked up everyone's chocolate and everything you've done tonight I have not done. So you just put it in. I and just put it in. It, yeah. 900 the thing is and blasted it for two yeah. minutes. Yeah, it will <laughs> it will catch and it will burn it quite went, quickly. It burned and went rock hard. To do. Yeah, you need to be patient and do it in the yeah. shorter so bit. It's so it's good to see Almost it. Almost there. Now you understand it, don't you? So well, guys, this is nearly done. Rich, would you, so we're going to do half a bar of white. You could do half and half if you want, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's really up to you what effect you want to get on the cake. So I'm just going to, the, the milk, so the dark chocolate is nearly done. So if we do the same with the white chocolate uh, and get that melted. And actually this is, it's such a simple technique. Yes, if you wanted to temper it to get a really perfect finish. But honestly, on top of the cake, it's such a simple technique. Um, but it looks really effective to get that marbled look. 
if you wanted to, also when when we pour it onto the uh, onto the baking tray, we'll show you. But you can add chunks and sprinkles and all sorts onto yeah. it if you wanted to. Well, you've convinced Marcy Dursley. He's bought the first bundle tonight. Oh, so fantastic. he's really looking forward to seeing the results. Oh, no you know, he's so good. He buys everything for his wife. And uh, his wife watches, but he does all the comments and oh, everything. Really? And she said to me, I met her at the show, and she said, oh, he buys me something every week off your oh, side. Oh, fantastic. How cool. Yeah, so do you want to start pinging the white? So white actually you've got to be even more careful because there's more fat in the darker chocolate, so it will melt a little bit more fluid, whereas the white... So yeah. why are you doing that? Um, Linda, Linda Mills has just joined us. Just, just quickly show Linda the cake we're making this evening. So anybody who's just joining us, this is the cake. We've got the Dr. Oka team in tonight, and they're making this chocolate shard cake using the chocolate milkshake um, buttercream and all the rest of their products to make everything else on this delicious cake. So we're back over to Jen, John. Jen, John. Jen, John. John. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the dark chocolate melted, and that'll be all right, sat there for a, a minute or two. So you can see it's pretty fluid now and we're going to want it to, to flow when we pour it onto, we've uh, lined a baking tray with some greaseproof paper. Um, so yeah, I'd, and the more you melt it, the more dangerous you'll burn it. Right. Um, so you really just need to get it so that there's no lumps in it and it's nice and fluid. You see how glossy and lovely well, that I've is. I've never had chocolate like that. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Don't be frightened of it. Yeah. Sorry, I just need to do it slowly, slowly. Yeah. John, your cousin Doreen's joined us. Hi, Doreen. Hello. We're all watching from Ireland tonight. <laughs> so the white one again. Ten seconds. Yep. And just wait for the white one to be a little bit more fluid and then we'll pour it onto the... Yeah. Okay. Pop that back in. Charlotte Princess Deg says she watches us. That's an unusual name, isn't it? Charlotte Princess Deg. She, her and her mum watch us every week, so they're going to come and see us at the show next year. Great. Fantastic. Just missed all those shows, Charlotte. But she's all, her mum's ordered her loads off us for Christmas. Great. How's the white doing? Is that nearly there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And the chocolate will melt any remaining lumps, so you can just stir it to... Yep, yeah, looks great. So I'll start by pouring the dark one uh, onto, as I say, it's a, just a baking tray. Um, Is it greaseproof paper? It's just lined with, with um, parchment. Yeah, lined with parchment. Just something that you're going to be able to peel off. Yeah. That's one. It's one we prepared. Yeah, yeah. Because um, it might not set there. by the time we get round to it um, yeah. to using it later on. So yeah. I'm literally just going to pour it on. It's probably better that the tray isn't stone cold um, or come out the fridge because the chocolate will start setting as soon as it hits it. So as long as it's at room temperature, that should be fine. So we'll just get that off there. Well, get it all out. Don't leave any in the bowl. <laughs> I'm, good, I'm on a diet. I'll have my fingers in there. So <laughs> will Maria as well. So get it all out. There we go. <laughs> That's that one. I'll just pass that to my washer up there. Thank you, Rachel. So, um, and then literally, I'm just going to hold on to the tray and I'm just going to tip it. You can see it's still flowing. <coughs> just to try and. You can see that's why I've turned the tray your way. Yeah. So, Wendy says, sorry, out. she missed that. What cocoa <laughs> solids are your chocolate? So, our chocolates for this one, the dark we're using, which is 54%. Yeah. So, it's not one of the extra dark, um, sort of stronger uh, flavoured chocolates. And we're also using the white chocolate. So you can see there, there's a few air bubbles in, so this might be a little noisy, but we're just going to tap that down a bit, see the air bubbles popping. Yeah. Ole. There we go. And, and Becca, lo Becca loves our kitchen. Thanks, Becca. Okay, that will do for that. And then with the white one, so this is just half a bar of the white one, and we're literally... We're literally just going to blob it. You don't, don't worry too much about being too precise, because we're just going to mix this in. Oh, I've got a double, double one going on there. And there we go. And you can use any sort of mix of chocolates that you want. So we're just going to spread that around there. Try and keep it so it's not all mixed in together. And then I'm going to take a cocktail stick. You could use a sharp knife, and I'm literally going to mix it round. So you could do a figure of eight. You could feather it a bit. It's really just to give it a nice finish, nice effect. 
Oh, look at that. That's nice. And that is literally it. Hey, you're good at this, you aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so that is, that's going to take probably, an, depending on how warm your kitchen is, probably going to take an hour or two to set. This is one that we did earlier. Um, I'm literally going to break that up later and push it into the top of the cake. This might not be set, which is why we've just prepped another one. So they're just checking. They don't spread it with a spatula. They just pour it on and let it... You can spread it with a spatula. Sometimes you get it a little bit thinner, but so yeah, I've just moved yeah. it around. Depends how fluid it is once you've melted it, but if you wanted to spread it out more. Sprinkles. Yeah. You could put sprinkles on top. Um, you could put some dried fruit or nuts on as yeah. well. Um, I'd just avoid putting anything wet, any sort of wet fruit on, because that's the water one yeah. will react with the chocolate. But but that's good to know you can put sprinkles on and yeah. dried fruit yeah. as well. That's great, right. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so that's it for the, um, for the shards. So we'll leave that to one side to set, which if it's set, we will use it later. But if not, we'll use the one. If you stick that on my windowsill, that'll set. I know, we, we did both on this afternoon, and it's, um, it did set in no time at all. Because we've got marble windows at uh, worktops on the other side of the kitchen. If John just shows you where all that mess is. Oh, so there's oh, mess. Mess. <laughs> mess. So one side of the kitchen. But because we've got marble worktops on that side of the kitchen, when the girls made these chocolates this afternoon, it set really quickly for them. So they were quite happy. So what are we on to next then? Next we're on to modelling chocolate. So the Christmas trees round the bottom of the cake um, and if you haven't used modeling chocolate before it's basically like sugar paste if you've ever used um, sugar paste it's a similar sort of thing it's going to be i'll show you i'll go right to the end and show you what it's going to look like just let me answer this no the chocolate doesn't go in the fridge you just leave it out to set yeah and ours is setting a bit quicker because we've got it on on marbled worktops which are cool mm. but don't put it in the fridge uh, <laughs> karen, karen puts hers outside the back door for 10 minutes Interesting. Not if the dog's outside, but <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> just in case. Um, so now we're going to show you the modelling chocolate, which is said we've, we've cut as Christmas trees. You can do any shape you like. Um, so if you haven't made modelling chocolate before, it's, it's Are a, we gonna a make some revelation now? to... Uh, yes, it's going to make some now. Um, <laughs> so hi Gwen, glad you've joined us. So I think John's just giving you a peek at the cake again, what we're making Gwen, so you can catch up. This is Gwen Welsh. She's been cleaning up after her baking. Ah. As uh, Jacqueline yeah. says, if you put it in the fridge, it will bloom. What yeah. does that mean? So the fat in the chocolate, sometimes if it's very cold, the fat crystals will rise to the top and set. Ah. So, um, right. Don't put it in the fridge. Don't put it in the fridge, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah, definitely not. Good. Thanks, okay. Jackie. Great, so we're going to do modelling chocolate now, which you've not used, if you've not made before. We haven't made it This before. is hopefully what we're going to make, which um, is a Ziploc bag. Um, and you, this is chocolate plus liquid glucose, which is just warming up there. <laughs> Are you liking this cake, everybody? Send over your love hearts to let us know what you think. It's always nice to see all the likes and love coming Definitely, up. Definitely, yeah. And I've never made modelling chocolate either, so this is quite okay. interesting. So obviously with chocolate, once it's set, which is we've done, showed you our shards, it will set solid. Um, to work with it, it's therefore quite tricky to cut any shapes that could shatter. All the oh, wow. coming. Thanks, everybody. That's what we like. Brilliant. <laughs> Keep all those positive thoughts going. So by adding <laughs> uh, liquid glucose to our chocolate, which we're going to melt again, um, it's actually going to give us a flexible chocolate. So you can see that it's not cracking or shattering. Great, isn't it? It is a fantastic yeah. product. So um, we'll show you how to make that. So again, we're using the 54%. All of this is in the bundle tonight. Yeah. Um, we're showing you the 54% uh, dark fine flakes chocolate. Yeah. Just to remind you guys, everything that Jen's using tonight and Rachel is all in the bundle. We've done a bundle deal for £24.50. You get everything in there to oh, make this cake. Oh, Plus you get two free bags of chocolate milkshake icing sugar for your um, buttercream, which John and I are giving you to the bundle, save you even more money. So if you buy this, you've got everything and you'll still have ingredients left over to use for other things as well. So do take a look at the bundle. It's a great deal. Should we go and look yeah. at the bundle? Yeah. So I'm going to get John to quickly run over to the bundle again while Jen is getting set up. So it's going to melt. Yeah, yeah. You melt your chocolate then. So this bundle, guys, it's £24.50. Everything's in the bundle. You won't use it all. You know, you're not going to, uh, you don't use all the liquid glucose, do you? It's half a tube, isn't half it? A tube, half a tube. Half a tube. Yeah. You won't use all your spray. 
Um, you won't use all your cocoa powder or your vanilla extracts. Great vanilla extract, this one. These come in sachets of six. You only use, I think, it was two or three, was it, of each one? I mean, uh, two of each. Two, two of each. Powder, two so you still have four of those left, but you will use all your chocolate bars. You can buy everything off the website separately as well. So if you've got some of those things in your cupboards and you just need other things, they're all under Dr. Oka's under the brand name there and as i say if you buy the whole bundle you get the two free chocolate milkshakes tonight off john and i don't we love yes dear. yeah <laughs> john didn't know about that until tonight <laughs> you're chuffed <laughs> i get behind you so what are we up to now then jen so uh rachel's just melting the chocolate as we did before exactly the same way in the microwave um and i not very difficult, but I'm warming up the liquid glucose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're working water. hard there, working I, uh, I, uh, I am, this is very difficult. This is the crucial bit. Um, <laughs> it, it, you warm it basically so that it's not cold when you add it to the chocolate, and also it's a bit easier to squeeze out. It's Super. a bit sticky. The cakes smell nice already, you can smell them, can't yeah, they? they do yeah, smell really good. Chocolatey. That's mm. good, they're rising in, in you know, nicely, yep. I start a diet every Monday and fail <laughs> by 9 o'clock. I think you should start Tuesday, <laughs> after you've baked all day Monday. <laughs> How's the chocolate um, going? Are we nearly... Do we get the there? recipe? The recipe's on the website, everybody, and it's also on our Mixing It Up site. So let me just uh, show you one second. So Maria's put it on. Okay, on the back of every packet of icing sugar, there is um, the name of our website. You should all try it, okay? You should all try it. Can you see it there, John? So um, it's called www.sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.com. And there's loads of recipes on there. Do give them a try. They're all recipes that Laura and I have made or guests who have come on. Um, we've even got bloggers who put their recipes on there. And if you have a recipe as well that you know is tried and tested, let me know. Let me have the recipe. Let me have the picture. We'll put it on and give you a credit for it as well. A credit means we put your name on it. We don't pay you. Not that lucky. <laughs> okay. The name of the recipe is being... What's this called? The recipe? Is it called chocolate? Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Yeah. yeah. So it's on the website. The link is on the top of the Facebook page for the recipe. But if you do go on to the actual sugar and crumbs mixing it up website, it's called chocolate shard cake. But just go to the top of the page now, it's there. Okay? So uh, thanks very much. Good. And Kat's oh Kat's put the product on there as well. If anybody wants to buy the bundle, um Kat's put it up. Thanks, Kat Riley. Okay, so we've melted our chocolate now, nice and fluid like it was last time. And um, I'm now going to add half a tube of liquid glucose. So I've just got that, as I said, in some warm water. It's got a little cap on it, which I remembered to take off, otherwise that would have been tricky. Oh. It's got a little foil cap on it, so um, <laughs> just get the right units. So we're going to add half a tube, which is 70 grams. Pam Kerrick, I never get her name right, she mentions it. She's tried loads of our recipes and she says they're fab. Thanks, Kerr. Thanks, Pam. Leslie, here we go. Love the flavoured icing sugars, especially the lemon. The ch Sue Simpson, the chocolate milkshake is gorgeous. Thanks, Sue. In fact, these two girls from Dr. Rocker have tried it for the first time this week and you agree, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it was brilliant. It was far less dusty than using um, normal icing sugar. It's great. Yeah, I was really pleased with that piece that you like that. Yeah, that was great. So how do you guess? Do you just guess? You don't weigh how much that you use. So I'm on the scales now. Oh, right, yeah, of course I didn't see that. Sorry. Don't tell anyone, but there's a slight <laughs> delay on the scales, so we are guessing, yeah. <laughs> 70 grams exactly. Sorry, one must pay attention when watching guests. <laughs> That's fine, we'll just move that out of the way. Can you just mind just emptying that one out and we'll put the... Um, so you can see the liquid glucose, see the clear bit there. Now this is when, don't panic if it starts looking quite grainy and quite a funny texture. You can see there immediately it's losing some of its shine. Just to, to John, can you see? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, let see. There we go. Right. And it starts, you can see it's, it's a bit, what's the right technical term? Blobby? Gloopy. I thought so, yeah. Gloopy's good, yeah. gloopy's good, yeah. yeah. So you can see it's going quite dull now, but that's, okay. that's fine. Because um, it will turn out like that. Good. So, it doesn't look great there, but that 
trust me, is going to be fine. Um, Rachel's giving me some hot water though, is that for a She's giving me an empty jug, jug now, oh, so right. just empty jug, rather than it <laughs> going everywhere, we're going to take a Ziploc bag. Tell you, you're good, you two, for being here, you? Do you think you can come and train the rest of my guests? This is, uh, <laughs> Those baked in boys made a right mess last week, it looked like a frigging war zone in here. <laughs> So it looks it looks pretty grainy, pretty dull, but it will come out nice and shiny um, when we're finished. Don't over mix it, and then without spilling it everywhere, I'm just going to empty that into the Ziploc bag, which is in the jug. There. My sister Yvonne's joined us. She thinks I'm hilarious tonight. Don't know about that. <laughs> And as it's still chocolate, it's important to not put it in the fridge because it will set hard. So we're just literally going to spread that out on there. I like the idea of using the Ziploc bag. That's a really good idea. Yeah, it just makes it easier later on when you're going to cut things out or it'll cool down quicker when you flatten it out as well. Yeah. Here's your zip. Other bags are available from other retailers. We'll turn that <laughs> over. Um, we'll leave, size we'll leave that to, so you can see how fluid that is. We'll leave that to one side and it will... It will firm up once it cools down, so don't put it in the fridge because it'll go too cold. We'll put it on the windowsill, shall we? Yeah, put it on the windowsill. Put it on the windowsill. Hi, okay. Mia. Glad you could join us. Lots of love to you too. <laughs> right, Julie Smith, she's back. Recipes for Turkish delight. Recipes for Turkish delight. Oh, I don't know. Um, Somebody's asked me to make Turkish delight cocoa powder. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we are going to start assembling our cake. Uh, let's have to do some cake with you, didn't I? I'll get yes. that good. One moment. Yes, that's good. Rachel, you're slacking. Oh, no. just no, she's doing a grand job. Doing a grand <laughs> job. I don't want to drop them. And she is running around pregnant as well while I'm studying watching as well. <laughs> <laughs> I pretended I got the comfy chair for Rachel, it's for me. Yeah. <laughs> Those nice sponges look good, don't well. they? Yeah. Yeah, I know they're not the ones you made tonight, but they're they're yep. good, aren't they? Yeah, exactly the same recipe. Yeah, they're lovely. So, Sorry. there's our buttercream. So this is the chocolate milkshake buttercream, which we just made a little bit earlier this afternoon. But I'll just loosen that up again, and then we'll start by building our tiers up. Okay. All right. So depending on your preference, uh, a small or a large palette knife. We'll start by putting a little bit on the cake board, just so the cakes don't uh, start slipping off the board. I'm also using a turntable just because it's easy, you don't need to, but it is easy when we try and get a smooth finish later on. Um, and then we'll start. And the other nice thing with you girls is you brought everything with you. Yeah. I've not had to provide anything tonight apart from the mixer. I've had a great day. And tea, actually, in fairness. <laughs> oh, I did provide you with your tea, yeah. yeah thanks. <laughs> You won't like us when we're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're literally just going to build it up. I wouldn't put too much uh, buttercream between the layers because once the layers you start getting quite tall, they might start slipping around. So it's really just to stick them, stick together. them together and it makes it a little bit uh, nicer eat rather than it just be a big tower of spoon. Yeah, it tastes delicious with that chocolate milkshake. It smells yes, fantastic. Yeah. It's Good really old sugar and crumbs. Glad we could be part of the <laughs> <laughs> So like we could be part of the dot tracker bundle. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So we're just going to lay that up again. Everybody says they're pleased about the modelling chocolate. They didn't realise how simple it looks yeah. to me. Really yeah, simple. really simple. And to be fair, I have to agree, I would never have made it. Yeah. I would have thought it would have been hard work, so I'm well impressed. Do you want to come round here? Sorry. And you can actually use it as an alternative to sugar paste if you can actually yeah. roll out whole sheets of it. So we're just cutting out some small shapes today. Um, yeah. Just as we go, just if one side of the cake is looking lower than the other, you can always switch it or <coughs> spin it round a bit. We can fill any gaps in. We'll show you how to do the crumb coating um, when we come to it. There we go. It's looking good. Yeah, I think the um, chocolate milkshake will really complement the uh, the chocolate cake. Yeah, it's the best good combination. <laughs> The best part of it in your baking, girls, I have to say, I'm well impressed with those sponges. Uh, and I'm, I'm even more impressed because I've never seen a mixture so wet yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. It's great. 
So the last bit for when you're building a, well any cake, you just do a sandwich cake as well. Um, rather than put the top of your cake on the top, if you flip it over, then you've got a perfectly smooth finish. Yeah. So we're gonna flip that top one over, just double check if it's better one way or the other to get us a smooth finish. I made that mistake the other week. I was doing a wedding cake and completely forgot to turn the top yeah. one over. So we've got a bit of a gap there. We're not gonna worry about it because we're gonna crumble it. Yeah. Just have a little wet cloth. So are we loving this, guys? What do you think so far? Let us know. Wendy Ann Preston says those cakes are so even, and they are, Wendy. They're lovely. I'm well impressed with them. Uh, Gwen Welsh says, how do you keep your sponges so flat? That's just due to the recipe, is it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Practice ovens, temperatures, get your time and temperature right, I guess. Yeah. And the recipe. And if you wear your batter in your tins, then you can make sure they're all That's even jet. Great. Oh, look, all those love hearts are coming again. Thanks, everybody. Got to keep it going, haven't you? Got to show these girls how, yeah. what a great audience you all are <laughs> and how appreciative you are. <laughs> so I'm just going to switch to the larger palette knife now, and I'm going to... People have their own way of doing it. I find it a bit easier actually holding the top of the cake, so I'm just going to crumb coat the side. So crumb coating is, is basically going to make it easier to get your finished effect. So we're literally going to put a small amount of buttercream around the outside and on the top to get... A good finish we're going to put that to one side to make it cool or cold so that will set all the crumbs in so when you come to put your second layer on you won't be dragging crumbs you get a nice clean finish on your yeah. cake question how many grams in the chocolate bar for making the modeling chocolate the 150 bar so oh, I yeah. use one bar which is 150 50 grams, grams yeah half a tube of liquid glucose and for the Christmas trees I think that size I made something like 12 or 13 so you yeah. do get quite a, and they're yeah. about actually they're bigger than a pan coin thickness yeah, but yeah. you do get quite a lot yeah. out of them. So Iris she used one bar of 150 grams of chocolate and half a tube of glucose. Yeah. You're going to see it all come together. She's not going without finishing this cake tonight. It'll be a long <laughs> night. Get more food in. So I'm now Sorry, just going to start at the bottom of the cake and just drag the icing up. So as I say before, don't worry about if there's gaps between the sponge layers. They're all saying it looks great. Well done. Should we stop now? <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. There we go. Everyone's saying you've made the modeling chocolate look so easy, they all want to give it a go. It is, really honestly. Easy. It is. I promise you, it's a revelation. Well, I have revelation. to say convinced me to have a go. I'm making a bit of a mess of the board, but again, don't worry about it, because we'll clean the board off. Yeah. Louisa Johnson says, great cake tu uh, tutorial. Didn't know how easy modeling chocolate was to make. Yeah. Awesome work, ladies. Awesome. awesome. That's our first awesome of the night. Yeah. Thanks, Louisa. There we go. Do you need to put a dowel in it? In your cake? Do you need to put you a dowel in it? You can. You can, yeah. to be honest. Um, I didn't, but... I think if you're keeping it at home, you wouldn't yeah, need to. Yeah, if you were transporting it, you probably it, should, should you? Yeah. So you can see there, as I'm pulling it up, there might be some crumb that comes off, but that's fine, because this layer is going to get chilled, and then the buttercream will actually set um, virtually. So when we put the second coat on, the finishing layer, it will, um, it will seal it all in, so don't worry about it. But this so is our undercoat, basically. Yeah. Well, they're saying the cakes look so nice that they'll be great for nude cakes. I'm sure she means naked. Naked, things. but <laughs> we think. I did look at the word yeah. nude again. <laughs> so. There we go, nearly round. Lindsay Pearson said her daughter made a reindeer cupcake with Dr. Upper's modelling chocolate at the cake and bake. Oh, yeah, yes. great. Yeah. Yeah. I saw all the kiddies doing it there. Yeah. They were in front of our stand. Yeah, we had some fantastic feedback. Charlotte Princess Dag says, ladies, amazing job making it look so simple to do. We have to give this a go. Great. Do it, do it. So that's the side. So I'm just going to put a bit on the top. And again, don't worry about it being too perfect. Joe says your marzipan is good for modelling as well. Do you yeah. Marzipan? Yeah, we do oh. marzipan. Um, you can model with marzipan, um, sugar paste, or modelling chocolate, really. And it kind of depends what you're putting it on. Sometimes if you're doing a chocolate cake, you might not want to put sugar paste on top if you've got a chocolate theme. So um, yeah, it depends really. Well, they're not complimenting the cake. They're loving it all. All the hearts are still coming. Fantastic. So don't worry too much about this this bit being too perfect. We've got 257 people watching the live. 59. Okay. So for, we'll show you a bit more when we do the final layer. But um, to get a smooth top, using your palette knife, 
We're just going to put the knife flat and lift the edge up a bit with the centre of the knife and the centre of the cake. If you've got a turntable, this is where it gets much easier. And then you can keep your knife still and spin the turntable round. Everyone's uh, impressed how neat and clean you girls are. <laughs> They're used We're to it all making the right mess in here. <laughs> Likewise for the side, I don't know if you can see that, I'm just going to put the knife against the side. Now this is where I'm not worried about the finish, I just want to almost scrape most of it off because this is the undercoat, the sealing of it. So I'm just putting the edge up, I can't actually see what I'm doing there, but um, okay. And then we're just going to move that round. And as you move it round, you're dragging the buttercream round and that should hopefully fill in any gaps that you've got. But as I say, don't worry about it too much because we're going to come back and do the finishing coat. Is that your cloth away from the door? <laughs> I love it. I love you too, on it? You too, go on. So you even got the cloth ready here, ladies, here to clean the board for you. So if I, if I wanted to, this is this is the bit that you can spend quite a while trying to perfect it, but you shouldn't be I'm telling myself that now. You shouldn't do because we're going to come back and finish it off. Right. Uh, what's there? We go. Are we? How are we doing for the? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just got a minute. We've got less than a minute, and then the cakes are coming out of the oven. Rachel's been getting the. Uh, do you want to have a look, John? Mm -hmm. So for the big reveal. So well done there. You're going to clean your board up. Yeah. So this is uh, the first coat, isn't it? The crumb coat. This is the crumb coat. So normally you'd leave that if you've got room in your fridge, you've got room in your freezer. So fridge for half an hour or freezer for 10 minutes, literally, and it's just going to set the buttercream on the side. Well, they're all loving that. All the love outs are coming again. Oh. Well done. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. You want that to go in the fridge now, do you? Well, we've got one. We've got one earlier on the windowsill. <laughs> Well, let's watch Rachel get these out. How long have we got? 12 seconds to get these out. They're looking we'll good. I just want to check whether they're, they're done or not. Yeah, I will yeah. check them. Cool. So, counting down now. They're asking, are you this clean and organised at home? Cleaner. More yeah. organised. <laughs> time to work, John. Considering mm -hmm. you don't know this kitchen, you're doing very well. with that community over there and you should see lots of hints and tips over there as well and if you can pop, pop a comment on there that carol from sugar and crumbs sent you over just so we know where you're coming from all right <laughs> don't forget you're very welcome <laughs> right rachel i forgot what i'm supposed to be so doing so it's now. like blue peter now it what is. we made earlier are we doing the chocolate drip we're going to make the chocolate drip That's okay it. so maybe if we just have a look back at the cake yeah. So to get the drip effect, um, we've used chocolate and butter. If you were to just use chocolate, then when you went to cut it, it would set hard and it would shatter and or push into your cake. You could make it with cream. So we're making a ganache in effect with um, chocolate and butter. And then it, you can see it's still, we put this on, I don't know, about four or five o'clock and it's still really glossy now. It gives a really nice finish. It looks great. And um, when you cut it, it should be a softer cut so it won't, um, it won't shatter when you cut it. Super. So, so, this is um, what you're going to make now. This is what, I'll show you how to make it now. Um, it's nine o'clock, so, yeah. What do you need? I'm going quickly, isn't it? It's nine o'clock now. So, um, a time check. <laughs> I'll show you how to make it. Um, so, probably in the order you're going to make the cake itself. There's one we have made earlier. Just tell you, girl, just tell you, ladies and gents, yeah. Everybody who comes on Facebook Live on a Monday, I always say they've got an hour and a half to two hours, and they go, oh, God, I don't know what to do to fill that time. And I said, don't worry, I'll remind you about nine o'clock, quarter past, and then you'll go panic. And Rachel has just said to Jen, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> you can't believe an hour's gone by. No, no, I'm having so much fun. Oh, you work hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm enjoying it now. What else should we do over here? <laughs> so we are making the chocolate drip. So we've got another bar of the 54%. So all of this is in the bundle. So this is 150 grams of 54% uh, dark chocolate. And we've added 100 grams of butter, and we're simply going to melt that 
So imagine that was melted. Rachel's actually got the one that is melted. It will take, I think it took about maybe 45 minutes an hour to cool down. It depends how uh, warm you, or cold your kitchen is. Um, so we can, you can actually keep pinging that in the micro if you need to, but we need that later when we've done the final layer of buttercream and that's going to drip down the side of the cake. So we'll show you what that anyway. looks like, if that's okay to melt that. I'm sure somebody's got their words wrong here. Yeah. Julie Smith has wrote, yes, you can use white chocolate, but you need to keep sneezing it, sneezing it, because it's a lot of cocoa butter in it. And then um, Melanie's wrote, Julie, I wouldn't recommend Melanie's sneezing in your chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so I think some predictive text issues have happened. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> Um, should we do the modelling chocolate now while we're waiting for that to melt? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you how to make that. I'll just put that back over. Oh, it's there. Brilliant. Oh, see, she's organised. Got it ready for you. There we go. So, this is so what the Ziploc bag that we did before, we've left that cooling and we are going to empty this out. So, you can see it's quite really flexible. Yeah. yeah. It's not cracking. Comes out easily from the back. Yeah. It's probably been nothing joined in the bag. You and you've not had to grease that bag or anything, no, have you? No, the natural one. It's quite fudgy in its texture. Yeah. Just got caught in the little um, fold oh, of the no, bag no. there. Okay, every last bit. Yeah, I can leave that in for me in my room. Rhea's dreaming already. <laughs> so if your hands are quite warm, then um, it will get quite sticky. So you, you can use either icing sugar or corn flour. But I'm literally going to mould that together like you would um, sugar paste. Right, wow. So you can see there, I don't know, do you want to touch that? So it's quite, yeah. it's quite soft. Yeah, it's almost it's like great. a dough, isn't it? Yeah. But already you can see, because it is chocolate, it is starting to melt. Yeah. So I'm just going to put a little bit of icing sugar, so you don't need to work too quickly, but we brought that just in case you needed to know what it was. <laughs> icing sugar. Icing <laughs> sugar. Take a rolling pin, as you would, and this is where, depending on how... <laughs> How warm or cold your yeah. kitchen is, or how long you've left the right. modelling chocolate. Right, bit. Lynn Feather says, how long will the modelling chocolate keep for? So if you keep it in the Ziploc bag, uh, you could put it in the fridge. You put it in the fridge, but um, you're gonna have to bring it back to room temperature. Yeah. Because uh, it will be really hard to. Um, but could to you leave work it in with. a cupboard in a cool place? You, or you could in a cool place. I would say for a couple of weeks. It's not gonna right. go off as long as it doesn't come into contact too much moisture um, I think it'll be fine so there you go Lynn just leave it in the Ziploc bag and go and put it in the cupboard somewhere cool not cold you can do it with white as well um, you can do it with white chocolate you can do it with dark chocolate Oops. Yeah. it's getting a bit warm a bit stinky Julie's laughing it is her predicted text she's going to stop sneezing in the chocolate <laughs> I wonder what she meant <laughs> I don't know what did you actually mean Julie <laughs> do you think she meant squeezing don't know what she meant. Stirring, I'm not yeah. sure. Um, so as I say, you can actually use modelling chocolate, do more of it to cover a cake like you would sugar sugar paste. Um, but this is for the uh, shapes around the side of the cake. You can use whatever you want when you're using Christmas trees. You can trees. use any cutters, can't you? Any cutter you like, and it yeah. is exactly the same as... Somebody's already asked, can you use any, cut it, yeah. any cutters? Yeah, any shape or, or cutter that you like, and it's as simple as that. Yeah. Wow, simple good, as that. Good, good. Love so it. keep, um, I think from this quantity, so one bar and 100 grams of butter, I made, I think it was 12 or 13 with a little bit of extra um, with this cutter. I bet the kids will dive in and pick them straight off the cake, won't they? And actually, it's really nice to eat as well. Yeah. Um, Marie and I are going to taste it after any off cuts. <laughs> we'll I'll have to only have a tiny bit because I'm on a diet. Julie did the <coughs> squeeze. Squeeze the chocolate. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so and, and it's literally as simple as that. I mean, that's not stone cold. That's sort of room temperature. Yeah. Um, and what we're going to, to do, thanks. What we're going to do around the cake um, is actually use, I won't, I won't show you how to cut those out. There's nothing too exciting about that. You can just keep going. You can with keep, it. take it, you can roll that You can re-roll it, yeah. Just put it back in the bag and save it. Yeah, yeah. 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 If you're not going to use it yeah. all, yeah. Um, will it go hard if you leave it out of the bag? Um, it's more, it will pick up, like chocolate will pick up any flavours, so any taints, right. or if there's any moisture in the air, it might start blooming if it picks up any right. moisture, so it's more about just keeping it airtight. Yeah, um, so we're now going to show you uh, how to get your finished chocolate. These are some I made, I think I made these on Friday actually. 
So now we're going to shimmer up our trees. Yeah. Don't worry about the spray, it washes off. I've used your spray before. Spray washes off, yeah, totally. It does wash off. So um, don't worry about it. People worry about my nice worktops, but I've had everything we'll chucked on these finished, worktops and they've everything's always cleaned up. We will clean up. It does wash off. We're using Dr. Oatka Shimmer Spray in Gold. That comes in the bundle as well. Um, the lovely gold this as well. Yeah, and it, it dries really to a lovely gold. finish. Yeah. So I, admit, I do use that one myself. Yeah. So if you just get the um, the can, you shake it until you can hear the ball bearings, and that means it's all mixing up inside. We also do silver on the website as well. You yep. get a lovely silver one. Yep. And literally for the cake for the Christmas trees here, I'm just going to be how far away is about that? 15 centimeters, something like that. And I'm literally you can have you can keep some some plain, some gold. It's up to you. You can put as much or as little on as you want. Um, as I say, that's one I did on Friday. It might be quite nice. If you wanted to alternate them round round the cake, mm. no gold, all gold. Go gold, just bling yeah. it all the way. Yeah, we like um, bling. <laughs> so like bling. Trying to get in the um, on the iPad lens as we're doing it. Everything's gone glittery. The world is glitter. So and yeah, the proceedings quite quickly that didn't it? <laughs> so Geraldine, don't worry if you missed the modelling chocolate. The recipe's okay. on the website. That's the finish there. You can build it up to, I'd let it dry in between layers and let it build up. So I've added more to this one here, but it's as simple as that really. Just keep. Um, Charlotte said, so does it matter how thick you roll the modelling chop out? It doesn't no, touch you. No, it's it. If you want really nice chunky bits, you just yeah, chop exactly. them out. Yeah, exactly. On thicker. the cake, it's, I think that on the recipe it says thickness of a pound. <laughs> Some of it looks a little bit thicker, so yeah. it's, it's so entirely it's to you how much you want it to stand yeah. out. They're definitely thicker than the pan coin. Yeah, so, so we've got, um, actually I'm just thinking I need to add those, I need to add more trees, don't I? You do need I've more got trees. some more trees there to, to yeah. sparkle up, yep, yeah, we've got loads there rather than cut them out. Shall I do the other layer of buttercream, would you mind shimmering up the rest of the trees yeah. that are in there, is that okay? I'll just get a, just get a She's cloth. She's there mid-flow with the cake in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get a cloth as well. <laughs> So we're now going to do our final layer of our buttercream. So this hasn't been in the fridge, but it's been on the cool um, windowsill. Is this the one you did this afternoon? This yeah. is the one we crumb coated this afternoon. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to pop it back on the turntable. Doesn't matter if you haven't got one, but it is a bit easier to work with. That means we've got our three cakes in the kitchen, four in the kitchen, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We're not yeah. taking them home. No, yeah. no, no, I'm not eating them either. So you can see from the cake we did before, um, it will darken a little bit as it dries. I've got to stick to that diet. <laughs> <laughs> and we we'll just it's your house, Maria. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And we are going to attempt. I feel like I almost need a drum roll now. We're going to attempt to do a clean buttercream finish to apply our drip on. Go on then. We're Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Should we do top or sides? Top or sides. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to use the, the larger knife now because um, I'm wanting to get a, a bit cleaner of a finish. Um, so we've been asked a question. Do you use the same amount of white chocolate as dark to make the white modelling chocolate? Yes. Same amount of chocolate, yes. Yeah, exactly yeah. Same, yeah. yeah. No and it depends how much you, you want, obviously, yeah. how much volume you want at the end of the day. So we're going to do the top first. Everybody um, knows I'm going to have four cakes in the kitchen tomorrow. Yeah, they'll, be round. Round. <laughs> they'll be round. They'll be round. There we go. So we'll just... We'll just spread that around there for the top. I always send one I about the I always send it into the warehouse, lads. And uh, I've got a dog walker who takes him home for his elderly parents and the carers. Oh, fantastic. So uh, You'll have plenty of homes for cakes. He, he has five carers that come in and they always eat on it through the week. Uh, so I'm going to just, when you do the top, try and push it towards the edge of the cake first of all. So it'll help when we come to do the cleaner finish. Uh, we'll get a cleaner edge. And you know, do, is it perfectly level though? But don't worry about it because it's, we're going to put shards on oh, and we're going to put stuff on the top. That's um, a nice thing. I like it when things aren't, aren't perfect because at least you don't have to stress or worry yes. about it. Yeah. You disguise it. Exactly. <laughs> put something over the top of it. Um, so now, again, tip of the knife, um, I'm going to put in the centre. Just been asked, would this cake freeze well before icing? Yeah, Don't see yeah no problem at all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 
Yeah, Vicky, you can freeze it, no problems. Wrap it up in plenty of cling film. Yeah. Right, are you ready to go, Jen? Is this your big moment? No. Don't, don't put too much pressure on it. It's one, <laughs> one of them. So we're going to do knife in the centre of the cake. Not too much pressure, just angle the knife up a little bit and we're basically going to turn the turntable. We are going to finish it off as well with a scraper. And as I say, we're putting shards on the top, so don't worry too much. And we're just going to try and get a nice, neat finish. It's almost pushing some of the cake... Uh, some of the icing, sorry, to the edge of the cake. It's all right. Good, yeah, that looks good, well done. Um, we're now gonna do the sides then, so similar as we did before, but I'm just gonna apply it, so our crumb coat's already on. So I'm just gonna try and do a smoother finish on the sides. Can you see that? Can you add color to the white modeling chocolate? You can add color. I would just be careful what colors you add, so I wouldn't add a liquid color to it. No, so would you add a gel or a film? You can add a gel. Um, with white chocolate, you do have to be a little bit careful, so I would go uh, not too dark on yeah. the colour because it could seize, um, but certainly you can add colour to it, yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to put a layer on here. We're going to go around and finish it off and smooth it all out, so if there are gaps, we can go back and fill them, so don't worry too much. Gillian's sending a private chat over tomorrow to pick a cake up. Yeah. <laughs> Gillian normally watches us from the bath each week. Does she? <laughs> she gets in the bath, relaxes, and it's the only place she gets peace and quiet. There we go. So we're just going to build that up. And this is where really you need to take the time. We're rushing a little bit tonight, but. No, you don't rush, you've got plenty of time. <laughs> that was Vicky Hodge who asked that question. Can you freeze the cake? Yep. And how much buttercream did you use all together for this cake? Uh, 500 grams of the chocolate milkshake yeah. and 250 butter. Yeah. So I'm going to get two tablespoons of milk. So there you go, guys. They only use one bag and we're giving you two bags free. John, will Johnny be saying, oh, what do we want two bags for then? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, in that bundle deal that you buy, you're only going to use one bag, so that means you've got a spare bag for your next cake. Yep. So really, I think in that bundle deal, they would only have to buy more chocolate and they could do it twice, couldn't they? Yeah, definitely. More bars of chocolate and then you've got enough for twice. We can clean the board up again afterwards, so don't worry if it gets down there. And any gaps, again, we're putting trees around it, so yeah, you know, don't worry about it too much. They're saying you're doing an absolutely amazing job, ladies. What a great idea for a Christmas cake for your family. Good. There we go. So we're just coming back round. Do you do chocolate melts by any chance? Chocolate. Dr. Oka, do they do melts. chocolate melts? No, no. no. We do. Mia's just asked, can we do chocolate melts? We have some on our website. Yeah. But I think, I'm not sure, Mia. So that's it, done. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, I'm joking, I'm joking. So we're just going to clean the knife I like off. it, slap it on, yeah. Jen, carry on. <laughs> You say keep it informal. When I do a nifty nozzles cake, I tell them all, <laughs> ladies, just slap it on. It doesn't need to be perfect. We're going to cover it up. So <laughs> I'm going to dry and straighten um, the edges off now. So again, knife, tip down on the board, turn it out a little bit, if you can see that. And we're using this um, edge to try and scrape round and level it off. So turn in your board gently, keeping your knife as vertical as you can and then scrape off any excess. So that's the first time round. So you can see there where it's maybe not quite vertical, we've got some gaps. So we'll just go round, and as you drag it round, it almost fills some of those gaps in for you. And there might be some areas we need to, we need to add some little bits. Okay. So if we just have a look round, we've got a little bit of a gap there, so we'll just add a little bit more buttercream. We've got a Chris Pelsa from South Africa watching us. Mm, very good. Hi, Maybe Chris. There again on the top edge. Wendy's after me. When I say slap it on, we call it rustic. Yes. <laughs> <Wendy>. <laughs> there we go, just around the top there. Jackie says a warm scraper helps as well. Yeah, yeah, good idea. We're going to finish it with a scraper, actually, yeah. just once it's nice and level. Yeah. Tracy Davis, the website, uh, the recipe is on our website already, but it's, the link is on the top of the Facebook page. So if you go to the top of the Facebook page about tonight's um, session, the link is there. And when we, when this goes get, when this live get posted to the website, the link will be there as well. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna, I know the top looks a bit scrappy at the moment, we're just gonna leave that for the minute. And what I'm going to do, this looks a bit odd, but we're gonna use a scraper, so, or a dough, dough scraper. And we're just gonna wet that. We're just using cool water, it's not hot, just in case it melts any of the butter and it starts yeah. oiling out. Um, so it's just a wet scraper. And imagine that's your knife blade again, center, one point in the center. And then I'm just gonna turn it round. And actually the wetness of the scraper, hopefully will flatten out. Sometimes you can get air bubbles, will hopefully give you a bit of a smoother finish. I'm not too worried about the top because we're gonna put the drip on it. Yeah. Um, but again, we'll just wet that slightly. Okay. And then putting the scrape at the back, we're just gonna pull that round. So I'm trying not to scrape too much off now, but I'm just using the wet scraper, hopefully just to give us a smooth. Uh, Pat Kings, Hot said, would you be able to make it in four inch tins to make miniature cakes for a single person? Really enjoying the demonstration. Yeah, all she'd have to do is quarter everything, wouldn't she? Yeah. 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 So if she quartered everything, I think, well, she'd still have too much, I think. Four inch tins, yeah. So the recipe so we've given you tonight, deep, but... yeah. The recipe we've given you tonight, Pat, just um, quarter the recipe for your tin. I can't see what I'm doing at the back there, but hopefully it's made looking the mess of it. No, it's looking good. good. Okay, that's looking good. So that's that one, and then we'll just neaten the top off because we want the drip to flow over. So we'll just drag that in slightly. And this is where the sort of wet scraper comes in because it won't, so your buttercream shouldn't stick to it. Rob Allen, Rob Allen has actually put the recipe up. Thanks, Robert, for tonight's chocolate shard cake. Thanks, Robert. There we go. So we're putting the drip on the top so yeah. don't worry too much about the finish. It looks good. Making too smooth, we'll just run up the damp scraper over the top of there and there we go that's the buttercream done just give the board a wipe there we go okay You're saying how nice and neat you are Thank we've you never much. had anybody this neat in the <laughs> kitchen i tell you it's good isn't it eh a bit runny yeah so now that's done um, I wouldn't put that back in the fridge because if we add the drip to it, we don't want the drip to seize as soon as you add it, so it's probably better, better. it's uh, at room temperature, so yeah. we're going to put that to one side. That's so a very good idea that I wouldn't have thought of that. I would have gone running over to the fridge for that now. Yeah, now that we just leave it good where it is. So did you get that guys? Don't put the cake now in the fridge because when she comes to put the drip on, if it's cold when it comes out the fridge, the drip will seize, so leave it at room temperature. So, Caroline Hall says a very good finish, oh, especially you. on a live Facebook. Yeah. So, well done. Thank well you. Done, thank Jen. you, Rachel. Yeah. You thank might get you. promoted there, uh, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. Um, so, we have got our finished cake. Um, we have got the drip that's just cooling down so it's not too runny. Actually, it doesn't matter if you have a really runny <coughs> drip. Some cakes you can see where it's actually dripped down right to the board, and that's fine, because actually you can put things on, stick it to the drip while it's still liquid. Um, so don't worry too much about it if the drip is, is too liquid, really about, about what sort of finish you want to achieve. So while we're waiting for that to cool down, um, you can put your trees on, but if the drip is liquid and it flows over the trees, it might spoil it a bit. So we're going to put the trees on last. Yeah. You can get in there. What about your shards? You could make them now. I could make the shards. Yeah, we'll make the shards. Spray your fruit. And we're going to do a bit of shimmer. And a bit of shimmer. As well for our fruit. So, Wendy, the... Wendy Preston and Jackie and Rob, we've all been in the kitchen, know how much cleaning up we have to do. So they're well impressed that I don't have nothing to do tonight. Fantastic. That's great. I love it. How's the. I invite shard... you guys again. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> How's the shards you made earlier? Is that. So that's maybe half an hour or so ago on the. Bring it yeah, over. let's have a look. A little bit back on the white. Yeah, so you can see where it's still quite glossy. You can see the white is a little bit not quite set up. So Sorry, it's not John, quite set this, but mm -hmm. how long has it been over there? Though? Half an hour, 40 minutes, hour, something yeah. like that. Yeah. But you can make it in advance, actually. I made um, the shard that's on that cake, uh, the finished cake I made on Friday. So you yeah. can make it and again just seal it in there tight bag. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't get any moisture or any flavour taints in it. Yeah. Um, the shard we made this afternoon, or the sheet we made this, this afternoon to make the shard out of, is there. So pretty hard, as we said. Melt chocolate, it sets again. So it's not tempered. You can temper it if you've got time. Um, and you'd probably get a higher sheen on the finish. But literally, it's, it's already a little bit warm on the side. I can see that's 
bending rather than snapping, but that's fine. And literally, you're just going to break it into pieces. Brilliant. So depending whether you want large shards or smaller shards, you're just going to break it up. And that's it. And we're going to use those to push into the that's cake. That's your sort of money. Okay. Three hours. One each. <laughs> and that is it. So it does actually make quite a lot of shards. This is one bar of the dark chocolate and half a bar of the white. As I say, you can switch it and do more white if you wanted more of a contrast on the top. Um, you can sprinkle stuff on it while it's still liquid. They're saying they still want you back. They want me back. They've never Rachel, we're back. We're back. They've never, never seen you. Job. We've Woo. kept you in work here now. Yeah, that's Keeping it. Keeping you employed. Fantastic. Um, they said they've never seen such a clean kitchen <laughs> and a great cake, so they want you back. Great. Good. Thank you. Um, so that, that's, that is simply it for the shards. We're just going to leave that to one side. And then we're going to shimmer up the fruit. So if you have a look, John, at the finished cake, um, we have shimmered up some... Um, some berries, so strawberries, blueberries, and cranberries, and also we put some um, fruit on that's not shimmered, which I think sets off the shimmer quite well, so it's good to have a bit of a contrast. And that is, as, and again with the, with the wet fruit, so maybe the strawberries, um, I, would, I wouldn't leave the cake days and days, because no. the fruit itself will yeah. start going wet and stuff. I was gonna say, I think, if you're gonna put fresh drink, drink a little bit. I think if you're gonna put fresh fruit on, just keep it for 24 hours or so. Yeah. Um, or keep the cake and put the fruit on when you're ready. Yep. The day you're going to eat it. So here's some fruit we are going to shimmer up. Again, using Dr. Oatka Shimmer Spray Gold. Shake it until you can hear the ball bearings. You could also shimmer up the shards if you wanted to. Can um, you cut the chocolate rather than snap it? Yes, yep. you can. Absolutely. If you, you want to then need to finish, yeah. You can do with the chocolate whatever you want to do with it. So, yep. so again, we're just going to shimmer it up. So if the, if the fruit's looking wet, we put it on some paper towel just to absorb any sort of free moisture on there. But the blueberries, cranberries, anything with a, almost a skin on, um, it'll give a fantastic finish there. So you can see that as we're rolling it round. Blueberries are taking on the colour really well. The strawberries will just give you a really nice sheen. There we go. You'll have to clean your phone after this. Sorry, Maria. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go home yeah, and think, like why am I covered in glitter? <laughs> So there we go. So we've also got some fruit there that we haven't shimmered up, so we're going to add a combination of the both. Uh, and we're going to use that to stick to the drip. So as soon as the drip, which Rachel is working really hard just to get to the right texture um, behind the scenes. and then Would you put your right trees down. on before you put the drip on? Or you would you prefer to do. put the drip on? First? You can do. I actually put the trees on first just so they stick to the buttercream. Um, but you could use some of the drip just to stick the um, trees on. If the drip is too liquid, it might flow over the top of the trees. That's the only thing, which might be fine. You know, there's no right or wrong. It's your, it's your cake, really, to do, to do with, yeah. as you will. Yeah, guys, you can actually do this cake any way you want. I mean, um, Jen had done one previously and put candy canes on it, didn't you? Yeah, candy canes and uh, chocolates on. So you can actually, this is just an idea. You can actually decorate it any way you want. Yep. It'd be nice to do some chocolates and gold shimmer them as well. You can, you can yeah. shimmer up um, nuts and and berries, berries, yeah. and berries. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. and put those on. Um, we're just getting the drip, and maybe it'd be good to show you actually the texture of the drip. So if you remember, the drip was one bar of the dark chocolate and 100 grams of butter. So it's a bit like a ganache. You could make it with, with um, double cream as well if you wanted to, but we've done it with butter for ease. Um, if you remember how it looked, it was really liquid. Um, and it is getting it to the point where you want it to drip, but not, not really totally down. flow off the cake. Yeah. yeah. Can I just borrow that spoon? We can wait. Yeah. And they said you can use marzipan fruits, which you can as well. Can yeah, that would be lovely. Yeah, you can put whatever so, you want on. Guys, this is just an idea. You can put whatever you want on your cake. It's up to you. So you can see that's really fluid now. And uh, what we're going to do to try and achieve the drip um, is start at the edges and almost tease the um, the chocolate drip over the side. I'm just thinking if I can try it, do it your side, John, but I won't be able to see what I'm doing. No, no you just on. go with it. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start over the edge. If it runs down to the bottom of the cake, it doesn't matter because who says how long a drip needs to be? Yeah. So we're just gonna ease that around the side, push it over the edge a little bit. Can you see that coming down now? Okay. Work our way around the edge, and then what we're gonna do is actually um, fill the centre of the cake at the top. And the end, so that one's run all the way down to the bottom, but that's fine. Would you not put it into a piping bag and then just snip the end? You can do, yeah. 
You can do. Or even one of those food bags, just pour it into a you food ziplock yeah. bag. Yeah. And actually on some of the drip paint, you can see it flowing all the way down and you can actually put some pearls or some yeah. decorations at the side, which looks really yeah. nice. And this is, we've obviously done this deliberately, so we're going to stick the trees to the bit that's running all the way down the outside. <laughs> well, we've been I working like on that all afternoon. Fairness, I like it when it's like that. Because to go. me, that's how a drip ends up at the bottom, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's looking good. And this is where it's important, as I said before, try not to put your cake anywhere too cold because it will seize the... Uh, chocolate in the drip as soon as it's added onto the cake. There we go, just work our way around. If you think you've got some gaps, you can always come back with a bit more chocolate drip just to tease over the edge. You see that running down there? There we go. So that's all the drip done. And then I'm literally going to pour the top on, just ease it around with the spoon. So I'm using the back of the spoon, but you're right, if you wanted more control, you could add, um, you can add it into a piping bag or a freezer bag. It's looking good. What do we think, ladies and gents? Do we like it? There we go. Give us a wave. Give us a like. Give us a love. It's looking there good. There we go. Looks great. Looking good. It does look great. <coughs> okay, it's so that's our good. that's our drip on. Have you just got a cloth, Rich? Oh, oh sorry. There. Sorry, Marie. I'll just grab that. Yeah. Okay. Lots of likes and loves. Yeah. Excellent. There we go. They're all going fast. Thank, Thank you, you very much, guys. Good. Well, we'll keep on decorating this. So now you can choose which is the front and back of your cake. Um, what do we think? I think it looks good from all sides. Yeah, yeah. here we go. So yeah. we're now going to add our shards in. You can, if you want to, cut the cake um, and push the shards in. The chocolate is a little bit soft, so just because it's quite warm in here, with all the hot air. <laughs> so uh, I'll see how this one goes. If it's if it's not going to push through the cake, you can actually um, just make a little incision with a knife in your cake. Okay, that should be all right in there. Don't fall off, whatever you do. <laughs> this is his moment. And this, it? yeah, there's no precision here. If depending on how much of a perfectionist you are, it is really about. Um, I'm doing this blind because I can't actually see what it looks like. No, so, what do you think, Rachel? Does it look all right? Yeah, yeah thank you. Excellent. Yeah. Um, and then I'm just going to add a smaller piece at the front there. But as I say, there's no right or wrong. You can literally add as much or as little yeah. as you like. Is that okay? Fine. You Michelle wanted... Nicole, don't worry. The recipe's on the website. Yeah, you can put more on this one. We like more. Let's go more then. We'll put one more at the back. Yeah. It's all in threes. Put so a big one at the back. All the designs are in threes. On. It's, hey? it's going to mess with my yin and yang now. Is the yin and yang? Would yeah. they? I'll do five then. <laughs> you, need do, you need to do a little one here now. <laughs> do I? Yeah, yeah, no. on there. Meanwhile, it's course past 11. Yeah, no. now. <laughs> <laughs> We're stop messing now. with Jen's yin and yang. There we go. How's that? How's that? <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Great. Right. We're all loving it. Oh, that's too orderly yeah, now. There we go. <laughs> right, now... I like the more the merrier. So we've got our trees to add on. So while the drip is still soft, it's going to be great for sticking things on. So I'm now going to add the trees. So just as a reminder, we've shimmered the trees up. This is our modelling chocolate. Um, and we will either stick it with some drip or put it on where the drips are. So uh, on the front, I'm going to... Where's our front? I about there. there, yeah. I want to stick it on the drip. And then... I'm going to put that one the opposite side. You don't have to be, you can put wherever you like really. I'm yeah. just going to try and put them at opposite sides. So if I start with a, let's do a alternate ones. There we go. Just fill the gaps. They really stand out, don't they? They're fantastic, aren't they? And you yeah. can see now still how uh, flexible the chocolate is, the modeling chocolate. I'm not sticking these down, so if they fall off, don't worry about it too much. They're not supposed to do that. But they will, you can put them on with more precision when you do them yourself. This is looking good, Jen. It's what, sorry? You do it from the camera. Sorry, yeah. yeah. It's literally stick it on. So it I will stick it. to Rachel's the. Rachel's taking uh, directions. Hey, right. have you seen it? Hey, she's in charge. Tell of you the what. I'm telling you, I just need to take long. You're yeah. yeah. <laughs> bossing you around. Hey, already bossing me around here, Jen. Jen hasn't got a word in. <laughs> I don't even try anymore. <laughs> He so, hasn't said much tonight. No. <laughs> so that's our trees added at the bottom. Um, we've now got our fruit to add on. So literally, you can you can place the fruit where you want. So there's very some... neat and tidy and well explained, Maureen. Having you said, thanks, Maureen. Thanks, Maureen. Uh, uh, Laura says you make it look so easy. It, it is. is easy. It is easy. I don't realize it is easy. Watch. I would never have tried this, but watching this tonight, <laughs> yes. 
It's easy. It's there going we to go. So you, we've added, as I say, blueberries, cranberries, and strawberries. And actually, if I get in shimmer all over my fingers, if you contrast the shimmered uh, fruit with some um, some plain fruit, it really stands out. We put some of those cranberries in. Oops. Would you put any behind the shards? <laughs> you can do, yeah. I said front and back before, but you could actually, if you wanted to, have shards for like 360, <coughs> so yeah. there isn't a front and back. Um, but yeah, you can also add some... I just grabbed that drip. You can also add some around at the bottom as well. So using the drip, you can just put a little bit of drip More onto the fruit. It's gorgeous. And literally, you're sticking it on. There you go, and you can spend as long as you want perfecting that. I'm just using the drip, a little bit of drip on the fruit. I can't see what I'm doing, but we'll put him around yeah. there. Go on, Rachel, tell her. Left a bit. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Oh, you did it blowing it. Blowing it. There we go. Stick Robert Allen says it's a showstopper. Woo! Woo! Robert. Woo! Do we know Robert? Is he related to us? <laughs> He's, he's regular on here, he comes oh, on Facebook he? Live himself Fabulous. as well, yeah. So if Great you wanted guy. to, you could put some around the side there, in the middle. Um, Stop. <laughs> Stop, really? <laughs> no. You can make more. Yeah. more. Do you know what, I'm very much less is more, but I do like it, let's throw it all on. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, you can, you can go mad really, you can add as much or as little as you want. Oh my goodness, and ladies and gentlemen, yeah, that. that is... So, wow! <laughs> that it is cake, cake everybody, what do we think? Woohoo! Nobody's more relieved than Rachel and Jen. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Rachel and Jen, that's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. You've done a great job there. So, come on guys, are we in the areas? All the love arts, round of applauses, well done. So, some of you have said that, could you use different icing sugar on the top, different icing sugar? Uh, around the sides, of course you can, and I do agree, if you use the salted caramel uh, flavoured icing sugar, have it white with the chocolate drip on, would look very nice as well. So, uh, salted caramel and the chocolate cake would go very nice. Yeah, too. lovely it. combination, yeah. yeah. So you can mix and match to whatever your tastes are. So everyone's saying beautiful, Iris says it's a, a wow. Louis Louisa says beautiful, Jacqueline, fantastic. Wendy, beautiful, they're all loving it. Brilliant. Well done. Right, so so good. Thank you. Good, good, good. So let's go back to what it is then that we've been doing in the kitchen. So this is Rachel and Jen from Dr. Ocker. I never get the name right. Dr. Urker. Dr. Urker. It'll always be Dr. Ocker in my <laughs> mind, but Dr. Urker, girls. <laughs> yeah. So the two girls have come over showing you how to make this amazing cake. The recipe is on our website, which is www.sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.com. Um, also, the recipe is on the um, top of the Facebook page as well, and the link to all the ingredients. We've done a whole bundle deal for you as well. The bundle deal is £24.50, and John and I have popped in two free bags of chocolate milkshake. So, uh, so that you can make the buttercream. And there's enough there to make two cakes, albeit you'll need to buy some more chocolate bars. Correct, yeah. So they've got enough to make two cakes there and two chocolate bars. So, thank you very much. I'm gonna give you girls a bit of a breather. So right. anybody who wants to stay just for five minutes, um, Lindsay Pearson has asked me, will I quickly demo the Christmas tree nozzle? So I'll, do, I'll quickly do that now, or should I do it in catch up? John wants me to do it in catch up. <laughs> Sorry, Lindsay. I'm going to have to do it in catch up. I think John's back's gone. So, John, do you want to come back over here and show him the bundle deal? What's here? So, Lindsay, I'm going to have to do it in catch up. I promise I will. I'll get it all bagged up for you and I'll do it then. So, anybody who wants to come back, let's go back to the bundle deal. So, the bundle deal £24.50 for all the goodies. You've got enough there to make two cakes, albeit you'd have to buy another set of that. Um, John and I are throwing in two bags of chocolate milkshake for you, so you've got it for your buttercream. You get the fair trade organic vanilla bean extract, and to be fair, that will last you for all your other all your other cakes as well. You've got the gold shimmer spray, the liquid glucose, the baking powder. They come in sachets, so they're all ready um, proportion size for you. So all you've got to do is open and pop them in. There's the cocoa powder. 
Okay, and of course, if you want to use um, other flavoured buttercreams, you can be salty caramel, the chocolate would be great. Lemon drizzle would be great as well. Velvet vanilla would be amazing. Um, brought in the Kerry Davis new moulds. You know Kerry was here a few weeks. All of you have been doing those gnomes, which has been amazing. So his two new moulds are there. This one is the oval plaque. I don't know whether John can see that. Can you see that, John? So that's the oval plaque. That's lovely, really nice. And that's lovely sprayed up gold. If you did that in sugar paste and then sprayed it up gold. And then this one is the small circle. And then Nicholas Lodge with his Christmas molds. Now, this would be great. If you bought these and used these with sugar paste or with the modeling chocolate that Jen's made tonight, then shimmered them up with the spray. They would look amazing for Christmas because you've got your cones there, you've got your winter spice, you've got your mistletoe and holly, and you've got your nuts and fruits all made with your chocolate, your modeling chocolate. So um, there's your brush for your um, dust for when you're painting. We've got new brushes in, new palette knife from PME, which is really nice. Some of you want just that tiny little knife for nipping in those little corners where um, it's easy to get things out, okay? And then I'm gonna come back and catch up and quickly show you how to use the Christmas cake nozzle, nifty nozzle, and the new tutu, okay? So let's just say goodbye to Jen and uh, Rachel again, who are now running around the kitchen. Look at this, look how trained these are. The look, how, side. look how clean my kitchen is. I cannot believe it. And Rob Allen, Jacket, Wendy, and Karen Naylor's been in here as well. Uh, you all know how messy this is getting. We've never had it this clean, girls. Well done, you're definitely allowed back. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you're right? yeah. very good. So I'm gonna spend all day the next day, or, or I even leave it. So, <laughs> but having said that, John, da -da, do you want to turn it that way? No, no, no. Don't show them that bit, no. Don't show them that bit. Kind of thing. So, I just want to say a big thank you to you guys for coming thank over. Thank you for having us. It's been great. Yeah, we've really enjoyed it. Um, they've got a website called webake.co.uk. Um, Pop over there, join it. Let them know that Carrot Sugar and Crumbs has sent you over, just so they know where they're getting some more sign-ups from. Yeah. Okay, share your bakes on their website. They've got competitions going on. And Jen, on Wednesday night, is doing her first Facebook Live. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is her first Facebook Live on here. She's actually hosting one on Wednesday night. So get over there and watch that on Wednesday as well. Quarter to eight, is it? Quarter to seven? Uh, seven o'clock. Seven, seven o'clock on Wednesday, yeah. There we go. So next week, guys, I'm going to be back in 15 minutes to do catch up where you can ask the girls some questions. And I'll be using the Christmas tree um, nifty nozzles and the new tutu, which I've not put on the website, but I will do. And uh, if you want that bundle deal, grab that as well. And you can come back and catch up, ask the girls all right, the yeah. questions that you want to ask. And uh, let's see, it's 20 to 10. Should we say uh, 15 minutes, 5 to 10, we'll be back. Yeah? So, bye-bye for now. Bye. 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 So, hi, everybody. Give us a shout. Let us know if you're joining us. Yeah. So, we just have to wait a couple of minutes, girls. Okay. <laughs> wait for everybody to come through. So, what did you think of that amazing cake then? So, we've got one view at the moment. Who's that too? Should start counting shortly. Hi, Helen Mills. Hi, Lindsay. Hello, Sarah. You get you two get a mention every week, and you, Cat Riley. <laughs> so, thanks for joining us. Right, we can see that there's an audience of about thirty. I think we normally get about sixty to seventy. So, we'll just hold on. Hi, Louisa. Hi, Elaine. Didn't the girls do great, eh? Isn't that amazing effort? And my kitchen, I'm just going to ping my camera around if I know how to do it. Uh, let me just see. Let me just see. Look. Let me just see. Oh, what have I done there? No, that isn't it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I've managed to do it, but I've now got pictures of some Christmas men, Star Wars, and everything else on here now. Let's just there see. Let's see. There we go. So there you are, look how clean my kitchen is. Yeah. Well done, girls. Yeah. I didn't tell you. You yeah. two can come back again every week. <laughs> <laughs> We've never had it so clean and tidy. So, so guys, what do we think of this beauty then? Who's going to have a go? Let me just pull it over here. So we've got one right behind us. This, the one behind us is the one they made earlier. Um, there we go. Sorry, you can hear the squeakiness of me 
bringing the cake stand across. I'm going to lift it up in a minute. So, what do we think of that bad boy? Is he a beauty or not? So, <laughs> sorry, Jen. Yeah, sorry, it was say. nothing personal, Jen or Rachel. <laughs> I was saying Jen's beautiful. Look, there she is. There's Jen. There's the cake. <laughs> so, Karen Naylor. So, guys, I did mention, Karen, before we started, that you're on next week. We're looking forward to it. And I'm expecting a clean kitchen of you mm. as well. So, I've never had a clean kitchen like this on the same night. It's been amazing. So, amazing cake. So, have you not, have you not cut it yet? No, the chocolate taste, trees taste amazing. Love it, we'll give it a go. Thanks, Lindsay. Hi, Elaine Twig. Di Wheeler, back again. So, isn't that a beauty? Who's going to give that a go for Christmas? So, for those of you who don't like Christmas cake, I love Christmas cake, I have to tell you, but nobody else in my family likes Christmas cake. So, I reckon they'd all be highly delighted with one of these. Uh, very quick to make, and I've never made modelling chocolate, so I think that's something I'll certainly give a go. I've always thought it was difficult, but having said that, I've never looked at the recipe, nothing. So I'm just going to move this uh, bad boy out of the way. So has anybody got any questions you want to ask these lovely ladies? Don't make them too tricky, whatever you do, <laughs> in a lovely evening. We're all sat here with a cup of tea, so anybody got any questions they want to have? Ask well, Julie, you'll have a go soon. Let us know, Julie, when you have a go. Great bundle deal, £24.50 for the bundle deal. Everything is on there that you need. I never know where to look on here. Never know where, where to look. So everything in the bundle deal to make this amazing cake and spare as well. So if you want to make two cakes, you can do that. John and I are throwing in two free bags of icing sugar as well. And um, Ria, I wish there was smelly vision. Yes. That'd be so good. <laughs> You'd always be hungry though, wouldn't you? Very yeah. chocolatey. It smells gorgeous in here. Uh, can you make the multicoloured drip? You've got to come back and do the multicoloured drip. You can do multicoloured drip if you, you melted different, obviously not with the, the dark chocolate. So if you use white chocolate, you could colour up different bowls of it. Um, and then you could drip down or layer different colours over the top. Yeah, good idea, yeah. Good idea. Give it a go, Karen. Yeah. Karen's on here next week. Ooh. You'll be able to watch we'll her. Be watching her. See if she leaves yeah. the kitchen nice and clean. Yeah. Chris Coben, what's the name of the girl's Facebook page? It's Dr. Oka. Dr. Or we bake. Dr. Erka. Dr. 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 Erka. And that is yeah. always going to be Dr. Oka to me, but it's Dr. Erka. Um, but they're here representing um, a website called webake.co.uk. And on that, on that uh, website, do you want to tell them what it's about? Yep, so We Bake is um, a community for bakers, so everyone who will be watching your Facebook Live will be um, really interested in it, so it's where bakers can share the bakes that they make, uh, ask other bakers for help, um, we've also got some challenges on there, some competitions, competitions. so on Wednesday night uh, we're doing a Facebook Live on We Bake, um, so yeah, go and have a look at the website and... Um, I know. Sign, sign up, up. Um, watch us on Wednesday and you learn more about it. And leave a message that Carol from Sugar and Crumbs introduced you, just so they know where they're getting their audience from. Absolutely. You've got to keep pushing that bit in. <laughs> <laughs> so go and sign up there. So um, Sarah, I joined last year, so Sarah's joined. Well done, Fabulous. Sarah. Sarah yeah. follows us every week. Great. She's a great girl. Great. Yeah. So hello, Annalise. I see that you're watching. So Annalise is from Holland. Oh, and hello. she works with Gwen doing the DK applicator. Have you seen that? That trage applicator for the pearls, the gun. No, for putting the pearls. Oh, we like gadgets. Out. No, we need to see one of those. Okay. We need to see oh, that. I'll have to tell you about it. So Jacqueline Heaton joined the IWE Baker. I really think it it is would be good to make it as an app. I agree with an app. Yeah. yeah. So Lindsay Powell, what will you be doing Wednesday? What are you going to be doing on Wednesday? So Wednesday is Facebook Live for We Bake, and we are doing. If you have a look at the We Bake site now, we are doing a challenge: uh, icing versus chocolate. So how you would like to finish your chocolate cake? So we've got some amazing, far more talented than we are, uh, cake decorators on. So you'll be able to see more details on Wednesday at seven. WeBake.co.uk. Just to tell you, it's in Zoe. Zoe Cakes, is it? Zoe, Zoe Fancy Cakes. Zoe Fancy Cakes Kitchen. 
she's got a new shop with a nice fancy kitchen yeah. in and Zoe said that she'll come on our Facebook live when I nail her down to a date so these girls have got to remind her so you'll get a peep in Zoe's kitchen on Wednesday if you pop over yeah, definitely. It's great, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I'll be watching. Yeah, have a it's fantastic. And to remind Zoe to call us. <laughs> we'll be doing that, Zoe, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine, hi ladies, back with you. Lovely demo. Can you use vanilla place, uh, vanilla paste instead of extract? Yes, of course you can. You can? Yeah. Yeah, definitely, no Elaine, you can do that. that. Thanks, I'm joined. I've joined them already, Kat Riley. Did mm -hmm. you join them at Cake and Bake in Manchester, Kat? Jackie? Because you were both there. Did you join them there? So we Let's launched see. We Bake last, this time last year, at Cake and Bake last year, so it's been running for 12 months. So Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Soy milk instead of whole milk. Right. What do. time on Wednesday, 7 o'clock, Jackie? And what was that question? Can you use soy milk yeah. instead of whole milk? Which we've yeah. not tried, but... Yeah. You should be able should to, be able yeah, to. you should be able to you use, it's about getting the same quantities of, as li of liquid in the recipe, yeah. Oh, okay. um, so you might get some subtle differences in texture, but you should be able to use it, yeah. And the chocolate's set now. So that was on the, that was on the uh, windowsill before setting, and you said it was just slightly wet. Oh, it's still just slightly wet. Yeah, it's quite, quite warm in here, here, isn't it? Yeah, warm in. Anybody who's been in the kitchen can see my rosy cheeks uh, and yours as well. You two are, aren't you? It's, <laughs> it's very warm in here. So, but it is it is nearly um, nearly set. Yeah. So Zoe YouTube is really good. Yeah, Lindsay yeah it is. is, and her YouTube channel is very good, Lindsay. Well done. So yeah, Jackie was one of the first. She's called Baking Nana. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. hi, Baking so Nana. So Jackie's been on yeah. her twice okay, now, possibly right. three times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. So Lindsay Pearson's here, and she wants me to demo this cake, girl. So yeah, right. this cake. So Lindsay, Lindsay this is for you. No, you stay there. So, so just so, so some of you come back for a minute. Okay, I've just, I haven't really made any buttercream today. I've, had a, I've not had a lazy day. I've been attached to my computer all day. But I've had a lazy day in that I've not had to do anything with these girls because they came in totally organised and I didn't have to bring anything, didn't have to bring any equipment, nothing. So just imagine that this foam cake is your cake. So I'm just putting a thin crumb coat on and then the new nozzle, it's not on the website, but I've been selling them at the shows, okay? I'm going to put it on offer tomorrow. It's four ninety nine. I'm going to put it on offer for four pound. So if you want it, it's called two two. So a little thin crumb coat. I've two toned my bag, so there's red on the outside and pink in the middle. So this is for you, Lindsay Pearson. You should be honoured. So she says I'm honoured. So you sit the nozzle on the cake, okay? Don't slant it. Don't do it forty nine degrees. It needs to be. That's is that what ninety or one or that's vertical we call it vertical yeah. shall we call it okay good never good with me fancy words so and then you just squeeze form the layers form the layers keep forming the layers it will gently push up squeeze 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 stop squeezing and it's off and in fairness I'm not so sure it's come out a bit wrong that side that's right that's good it's a nice will that side yeah. is the correct but this side isn't. So let me knock that off again. So this is the great thing about these uh, dummy cakes. They're on the website. I think they're £3.95 for six. And you can just wash them afterwards. So they're great. So let's just do that again. So you sit that on there. So you squeeze, 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 squeeze. Stop squeezing and you're off. There, that's better. I was taking too long to do it. Fabulous, yeah. And then what you do is you put a strawberry or a marshmallow or a Ferrero Rocher. See how it leaves the gap behind. So that would look really pretty if you did a nice white crumb it's coat really on the pretty, top. Isn't it? Yeah, it's quite pretty, isn't it? Yeah. It's different. And the two-tone looks nice yeah, as well, really doesn't good. it? Yeah. yeah. You see the two-tone there? Good. So um, I need those to practice my nozzles. Stacey, they're on our website. They're on baking accessories and they're £3.95. So, um, and then the next one that um, Lindsay has asked me to do, she's asked me to do the Christmas tree. Now, the Christmas tree has been copied, has been copied extensively. I showed everybody the Chinese copy uh, when I was at the cake shows. I haven't got it here, but it's actually a smaller version. Now, the Christmas tree is there, okay? Now, my daughter, Laura, designed this one. It is patented. If it doesn't come with nifty nozzles on, it means that the Chinese have sent you a copy. 
and uh, ours are four ninety nine. And um, but the, this, these are all laser cut as well. So if you're going to put it on the side of the cake, the only thing you need to remember is to make sure you look which side of the tree is up. No point you're putting the upside yeah. down tree or a sideways tree. It's got to go that way. So, because we're going to put it on the cupcake, so we're just going to sit it on top of the cupcake there, so I'll make sure I put it on, and you do it like all the rest of the nozzles, so you just squeeze it, so squeeze, so we're going to squeeze, 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 stop squeezing, pull off, and there is the tree, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? and then I'm just going to get a little bit of bling, so you know I'm a fan of rainbow dust, okay? Admittedly, it's for cake decoration purposes only. It does tell you that on the lid. I do tell you all at the shows, and if anybody wants to pick this bling off, feel free. But there's no sign on there that says dangerous or harm to health or anything else. So all it means, girls, if you eat tons and tons and tons of this, you'll have a very shiny poo. But if you just put a little sprinkle on like this, that would be plenty. That's all you need to do. Yeah. I guess you can use the shimmer spray as well. Do you know what? I was wondering when you could use the shimmer spray. You could use it on any cream, yeah. Go and get your shimmer spray. Let's give it a go with that because that's edible. I'll go and use it. That's out there. Go and get yours. That's a new one. It's a new one. Do you need that? Oh, we don't sell our stuff. Use it. So, do we like that one, glitter poo? I know, Cat Riley. It's nice that we all like a bit of bling. I'm quite happy to have a blingy poo as well. So there you go. So there's that one. So I'm just going to show it you again, okay? And then uh, Rachel's gone to get the glitter spray for Doctor Ertka. Yeah. I'd never get employed by your company <laughs> till I get the name right, would I? Yeah. Uh, could you imagine coming for a job at your place? <laughs> they go, no, you don't know the name of the company. So let me just put it on again there. I'll have to stay with sugar and crumbs. So let's put it on again. So we just stick it on. So we're going to squeeze, 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 squeeze. Stop squeezing. Pull it off. There he is. And you can see all the detail. Yeah. Do you like that, Julie? Okay, and I'll tell you what I'll do for you guys. I will put this on offer for three pound. So that's two pound off. Don't order it tonight. Well, in fact, I'll change it when these girls go, because I haven't got no kitchen to clean up. I'll put it on offer tonight for three pound. And I'll do the two two for three pound as well. Yeah, I had glittery balls last week. Jacqueline, don't be talking about your balls. It's not, actually it's after nine. You can tell us about your balls, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to just try this now. So you just hold it. Yep. So I'm just going to About see. There. That's it. And then you can layer it up, let it dry and layer let it up. Let it dry, layer it up. I like blink me. So all these um, glitters are on our website as well. I'm just going to see how blingy this goes. Actually, that's got a nice shine. Let me just spray it there. Yeah, and just do it in little bursts. Yeah. That's your eye Oh, that's better. Yeah. Yeah, if you can't see me on the iPad now, it's because I've squared it off. <laughs> there you go. But I still want a little bit of glitter, so there's a bit of red on it as well. There you go. Yeah, is that okay, Lindsay? Sarah Williams, my buttercream consistency is always off. Gillian, now, now, Carol, remember the last time. I know, Gillian, you and I get into enough trouble. I'll tell these girls about it afterwards. But Gillian is always in the bath when she's watching us. <laughs> I've had a little bit of a problem with my horn, my me, uh, me Halloween horn, unicorn horn. So that was definitely turning into a show for oh, after nine. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> And then blinky poos were here as well. So anyhow, nothing wrong with those. These girls can't say that, you see, because they work for a posh professional company. But I work for Sugar and Crumbs and I own it, so I can do what I like. That's <laughs> great, isn't it? Yeah. You yeah. have to do what you're told. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're dying to say some of it, but they can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyhow, guys, before we go, because these girls have got a long travel home to Leeds. You're back to Leeds, aren't you? Yep, yeah, yeah. Yep. They're travelling home tonight. Is there any questions you want to ask before we go? So, Lizzie, she's tired and she's off to bed. Great show. Night, Lizzie. So, thanks, Louisa. So, come on. Quick round of applause for these two, and then we're going. Let's show you this cake one more time.
Oh, it's a daisy, right in front of Jen. Let's block her out. There we go. <laughs> you can say what you like now, Jen, behind there. Yeah. Nobody needs to know. Jen can say what she likes now. She's hid behind here. Nobody so, will know. <laughs> it's great. So we'll see you all next week. Next week we're here with one of our Facebook followers. You all know her. Um, Karen Nail is here and she's doing Christmas cookies. So looking forward to that. And she's also going to make some... Um, mint creams, chocolate creams, and some, um, I don't know, she's got a whole selection of things to do. So, Linda Miles, clap, clap. Hi, hi, um, uh, this guy used to work for us, and he, his name there, his name's there, Bargy, but I can't think what he's called, his real name now, how bad's that? <laughs> Faber, <laughs> Faber. <laughs> yeah. Right, Jacqueline, night, night. Will the mini Russian nozzles in? They're in, Helen, I'm just waiting for them to come out of customs. They were still in customs tonight. The charges have been raised. I'm just waiting them for them to get to the post office. Hopefully they'll get there tomorrow. If they get there tomorrow, they'll be on the website tomorrow afternoon. So baby nifty nozzles should be live on the website tomorrow afternoon, everybody who wants those. So anybody who wants a Christmas tree, I'm gonna do a quick um, deal for you, three pound instead of 4.99. The two two, I'm gonna pop on for three pound instead of 4.99. You know where you can get your glitters. And don't forget your bundle deal for Dr. Urka. Dr. Urka. Did I get it right? Pretty good, yeah. Friggin' hell. I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> I might get a job. <laughs> <laughs> so Dr. Urka, £24.50 for all the goodies in there, plus two free bags of icing sugar off John and I. So we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.